Just text, I know it's a toss Oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such age The Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you Know we all for do What you doing right now? Right now Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all alone I know I want you Long time since the last time Got a tab, we could run up Knew you from the way, now we grown up My look, yeah, made the realest most nervous But if you want it, tap it I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it We could keep the pace on slow All we have is the moment Just text, I know it's a toss We was raised a little different I Used to be ashamed who I was Now I'm paid by the sentence Taking my time with it Baby, give me yours So I could get some butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page Hit me with a text, voice, note, or an emoji Waiting all day for your name on the ID So if you want it, tap it I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it and we could keep the face on slow chill. Don't leave me on bread. Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have is the moment.
y'all doing baby mm. it's your queen maker your beloved queen maker in the building <laughs> how y'all doing how you doing ah oh, baby 
I got a treat for y'all today. Hold on. I want, I'm, I don't want to put my headsets on. Hold on. Let me, uh, well, I'm going to have to, but, oh, goodness gracious. Mm. Ooh, we, baby, it's, it's, it's on and popping today. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it looked like, uh, I had to come in, you know, the queen maker got to come in here and do queen maker things, <laughs> baby. Queen maker got to come in here and do queen maker things. So word on the street is, you know, this pretty young thing, you know, was over there in the manosphere. And, you know, the manosphere has a habit of, of dropping the ball all the time. I mean, they dropping the ball and just sending the pretty ones on over here. <laughs> they want the pretty ones to come up. Before you know it, they're going to be left with a, having a sausage party, <laughs> a sausage party. <laughs> and ain't nobody going to be there but them. They keep on playing. But you know what? I'm not going to, no further ado, I, I got somebody to bring on up in here. <laughs> I got somebody to bring in the building. Here she go. Hey, sugar, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> Ooh. All right. So uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is B Taylor TV. For those who don't know me, I'm a YouTuber, and you can also follow me on Instagram at B Taylor TV. Dang, that's right, B Taylor TV. Go on over there and hit her up. Go on over here to hit up. Now, B Taylor, why, why, why you got to come to the Queendom? Why, why are you in the Queendom today? What the hell didn't happen? Well, you know, I was told I was for the streets. I was told I'm just a leftover baby mama. Mm. You know, uh, that these men, I'm just a pump and dump. I'm not a wife. Oh. Um, I'm a loud mouth. Um, yeah, everything that these bandits love to say about B. Taylor, being in a man of spirit, for some reason they like to beat up on me in the comments and all or just make me a uh, example you know well that's a doggone shame because you too pretty for that and i don't understand you a baby mama <laughs> baby oh. mama where <laughs> baby mama where oh baby shit, mama, where? Ooh, shit girl <laughs> damn okay i don't know i don't know them motherfuckers must be gay over there because who the hell beat up on a woman as beautiful as you i don't i, I don't know well it's well it's all right it's all right <laughs> she belonged to me now <laughs> she belonged to the queen maker now Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all gonna keep on y'all gonna keep on fucking up <laughs> you're gonna keep on fucking up look so um i would like to see what they did to you mama i would like to see yeah i would like to see what they done done to you and what they done said about you um uh, now one of these cats over there in the manosphere uh <laughs> your boy anton <laughs> <laughs> Tell no me. beef, no beef, no beef. Ain't no, ain't no beef, baby. <laughs> ain't no beef. I like chicken, okay? I like chicken. <laughs> I like turkey and chicken. Look, I, I heard he was over there. I heard he was over there stomping you out. Was that, is, that, is, is that is that what happened? The word on the street. I got schooled, as always. I'm always getting schooled. So he want he want to pick he want to pick on the he want to pick on the the soft ones. He won't pick on the soft one. <laughs> hmm. Well, I, I I challenged him and tried to tell him that you was ready for a debate as you did on my channel. You let it be known. You're not running from him. And he had some things to say. Oh, did he? He had some real things to say. Oh, did he? Oh, oh, <laughs> that little puppy dog over there talking shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So he want that little chihuahua want to beat up on you, but he want to run from me. Okay. All right. Let me, <laughs> let me see. Let me see what the, let me see what the little chihuahua talking about. <laughs> let me, let me see what the little chihuahua talking about. Hold on. Mm. Let's, let's, let's pull that on up. <laughs> Oh, golly. Okay. That's why so many marriages didn't fail. But but my point I my point I was making to him though, right? Because I went here last week though. But the point I was making to you, I agree. So let's see where he start. Let's let's see where he done started barking. <laughs> where he started barking at? 
see. Let's see what the Chihuahua done said. Hold on. We on the wrong one. Oh, no. No, that's the wrong one. We got to pick this one. Okay. Hold on. Air, so okay so um let's see cool just send that on over here to my to my little text message okay But I want to know why he tripping like that. Why why he tripping on you like that? I don't know. I, I was like, you know, go we hey, I just want you to hear what all he had to say. Okay. Like, uh, I don't know. I told him you was ready and you okay. gonna, I don't want to okay. repeat. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can just get it word everybody what, verbatim. What? We can get it for, ver, verbatim from the horse's mouth. <laughs> we gonna get it verbatim from the horse's mouth. Two nineteen, two nineteen forty six. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? What do you say about the queen maker? <laughs> mm hmm. I mean, you forgot to put out my fruit snacks today. I know a married couple right now, both work at Quick Trip gas station in two houses in their neighborhood and work on the third, married for 15 years. Side business sounds like a pipe dream. It does. Most Thank men you. don't have a vision. <laughs> Families in Dareborn do exactly what Anton said. Marriage can be for the people who want to be a good teammate and help each other succeed further. Queen Queef Maker versus Anton. She got to stop ducking him. <laughs> That'll be good. <laughs> good for who? You know what? Funny thing is, B Taylor told me to, you know, good for who? She should want to come she on the show. Yeah, she ready for the smoke. She, she called uh -oh. Anton out. Uh -oh. she never running. Oh no, she gotta pull up this. Now nah, she gotta pull up to this morning show. We ain't here for all that. No, nah, <laughs> listen, Facebook. listen, listen, listen. I know she got her little movement and all of that. I don't want to ruin. Her. I don't want to ruin her career. He go I, I genuinely don't want to take no food out of anybody's mouth. I, 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 I listen, I like her. I love the way she's marketed herself. And, you know, I'm all for people getting their bag. But let's just be clear. When you bark up this tree, you might not come out with limbs. You might not come out with, with ears. I'm a, I'm a fucking maul you. He going to maul me. <laughs> What kind of tree is he? He 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 wanted them new trees, the, 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 the little youth trees, you know the ones that you just plant. <laughs> that tree <laughs> is that the tree we talking about? You gonna maul me? You mean you gonna you you, you gonna try to bite me with them brand new teeth, huh? <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> the little Chihuahua teeth, okay? <laughs> That's what he doing? He barking, okay? Mm. Come on, baby. And I'm a, I'm an intellectually, and I'm not gonna do it on no on no crazy shit. I'm an intellectually maul you. Oh shoot! He said you. He wasn't even talking to the panel. He knew I was gonna see this one day. He said I'm an intellectually maul you. Oh, <laughs> this dog is barking. Oh, get him some kibbles and bits. Hello. <laughs> Get him some kibble. You will have no chance. Be careful what you ask Ooh. for. I'm trying to give y'all a reprieve. I'm trying to allow for y'all to be able to breathe out here. You will come out of there looking like a tiger fucking took your whole life. You won't even you won't even be able to stream the same way no more because it's gonna be in your head. You Ooh, your head. boy, I'm telling you, this nigga living in fairy tale land. I mean, this motherfucker done went and invaded Barbie land. I mean, he really, really out there, huh? Let's see. Dream about me. You gonna gonna suffer as a result of it it's gonna be the worst decision that you ever made in your fucking life then do Ooh, it oh shit he said in your fucking life say it with your chest nigga say it with your chest <laughs> get get get, get your get your get your money you know what i'm saying speak speak to your feminazis <laughs> and just do your thing but if you if you bark up this tree 
you will not come out. You going to do it. She, she Anton, baby, you sure about that? Baby, you sure about that? Because I'm going to have to come back to the front screen and undress you, baby. Hold on. She's not going to come out like no little boy. She's going to come out a whole fucking woman. She's going to come out a whole fucking woman when I get done with her. Nigga, you ain't got that kind of pipe game, sir. <laughs> your tongue ain't worth nothing, and I can I can tell that your tongue ain't worth nothing based on what you talking about right now. Based on what you saying right now, I know your tongue ain't worth a damn, <laughs> and I know your Peter Whacker ain't got ain't got that kind of power to turn me nothing, right? So so what you talking about, Anton? <laughs> you, you doing all that barking? What you talking about? She gonna be dressing different. She gonna Ooh, be he say I'm gonna be dressing different. <laughs> acting different. It's gonna be a whole nother ball game. Oh okay. shit. Oh shit. Talk your shit, boy. Talk your goddamn shit, Anton. You show you want a piece of the queen maker, huh? I already, I already got, I already got the Manosphere boo thing over here. Since y'all don't know how to treat her, right? And she didn't had to come run to the queen. She had to come run to the queendom to get treated right, to actually get some protection. She didn't had to come to the queendom to get some protection, cause y'all wanna beat up on the pretty ones, right? You wanna beat up on the pretty ones, okay? So let me show you why Anton can't hold no candle to me. <laughs> Anton, your ass running for a reason. Your hair, it, it ain't got nothing to do with you going intellectually maul somebody. First of all, your ass put out a a, a, a a false narrative talking about I ran from you when y'all ass was on the six person panel. You was on that panel with, you were supposed to be on the panel with Sydney Star, sir. Sydney Star was a replacement for me and two other people. You stayed and I left and two other people left. And then you ended up, <laughs> all right, on your little real life street stars thing. But you done went out there and told everybody that me and you were supposed to have a debate. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Here it is, baby. But I know why you're running. You know why you're running, sweetheart? <laughs> Anton, you know why you're running, baby? Because <laughs> you know what? I got your ass. I got your ass in the 41 shades of men, <laughs> baby. Mm -hmm. I got you in the 41 shades of men because you know what? You on my side, Anton. See, you playing for me. You know, I remember when I used to be kicking people ass in dominoes. I remember when I used to be playing dominoes, right? And I'm pretty sure you look like you played dominoes a couple times in your lifetime, uh, Anton. <laughs> um, you know, when, a, when, when your opponent got the strategy going and you think that you, you know, playing against him and you actually playing into that person's hand and they be like, damn, I ain't know you was playing for me. <laughs> 25, yeah, 25. 30 on that ad. Damn, you playing on you playing for me. <laughs> Anton, that's exactly what's happening here in this little manosphere, you know, Chihuahua fight, right? You playing for me. <laughs> that's why you're running. That's why you don't want to talk. Cause you playing for me. Let me show you, let me show you what you said that puts you in the game. 41 shades of men the pursuit to subdue and use you <laughs> coming out of the great Anton Daniels mouth <laughs> I love it baby I love it let me see mm. why y'all why y'all do this pretty young thing like that <laughs> <laughs> why y'all why y'all do B Taylor like that? Why y'all done had to have me come to the rescue? I don't know, but uh <laughs> So, out of the word out of the mouth of Anton Daniels, this what he tell this what he tell the women. Because we slot women, right? Like we slot women based off of what we need. Oh, wait a minute, let me go back just a little bit. Three, 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 there we go. There we go. Right here. Like it's something else or try to prove like oh I can get them to change you know but do you think that men care about what women think or what it is that they care about oh do you think men care about what women think or whatever it is that they care about they don't give a damn about you but y'all over there steady trying to talk to these manosphere Negroes <laughs> trying to tell them 
your thoughts, your feelings, and he letting you know. He letting you know straight up that he don't give a damn about you or what you think. Because we slot women, right? Like we slot women based off of what we need them for. Oh, we slot women based on what we need them for. 41 shades of men, the pursuit to subdue and use you. They all need you for something. Y'all all are useful for something. It's just about what? It's just about what? And so since most of them ain't going to tell you, you got to figure it out, ladies. This coming out the horse's mouth. I ain't made up nothing. 41 shades of men, the pursuit to subdue and use you. Do you think we care? You think men care about what you think? Huh. About what you want? No. Because see, we as men, we slot women based on what we need them for. Anton, you playing my hand for me, baby. Mm -hmm. Versus what women think that we need them for. Versus what women think we need them for. So they, they playing a deceptive game. They letting you know straight up that they deceiving you. You think they want you and need you for one thing, but in reality, they want and need you for a whole bunch of other stuff. And they'll lead you to believe that they like you. They'll lead you to believe that they care when they really don't, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This the manosphere head nigga over there. <laughs> that the head nigga, that the head nigga over there. <laughs> letting you know. That Priscilla ain't lied. He, she ain't lied. So didn't. Mm. What else, Anton? Tell the whole truth, Anton. I love hearing the truth. Right? So okay. we slot women, for example. It's the ones that we'll have sex with or we'll bust down. For example, it's the ones we'll have sex with and we'll bust down, right? If they can't find nothing else that you, you got to use, they'll fuck you, right? And then what? And then it's the ones that we'll take seriously and we'll marry though, right? So they'll marry them. It ain't that they take them seriously. They'll marry them because guess what? They using them for something else, right? Because we as men slot women based on what we need them for. So the woman that they marry, they need her for something too. <laughs> it ain't that they love her. It ain't that they care because he lets you know straight up off the rip. You think we, you think men care about what women want <laughs> and what they feel, what they think? Uh, keep on going, baby. Keep playing my hand for me, Anton. Are all women the same as far as that emotional connection that they feel like that they need with a man in order for them to really, really feel like they're connected? So now he's going in, well, is, do women really, really feel like they need that with a man for them to really, really feel connected? Here we go. He finna get ready to go to show you that men are incapable of love. He finna, he finna go in to show you how these niggas think that they ain't capable of love. Listen to what he say. Listen to what he say. I think that there's a huge disconnect with everyone emotionally. So I think that a lot of women I have that expectation of what they want emotionally. Um, wait, what was the question? <laughs> well, do, do you think that guys really take seriously, like, because you say that what men don't understand about women, but I'm not, I'm not sure that men don't understand that because we, we understand the emotional connection is important, right? Like, even when it comes to sex, right, that emotional connection is what heightens the experience, right? Absolutely. But then at the same time, in a lot of instances, we really just don't care. Woo, shit! B. Taylor, your boy, letting you know we just don't care. Yeah. B, B, your boy sitting up here letting you know that they just don't care. But baby, 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 stand up and let me see them titties again. Oh, I shit. I give a fuck, though. I care. <laughs> I care. I care. I sure do. <laughs> I want you I want you to have the heightened experience, right? I want you to have a heightened experience, not somebody that just want to use you and don't give a fuck about you. Mm. Hold on. I'm not through. Let him let him keep on talking. I think 
what a lot of the conversations that women have are they're like looking for men to care or have at least like a basic understanding and compassion of it and moving to in a way that I think both sides need to look at his face sacrifices look at his face look look at look at his body language the nigga don't give a fuck yeah 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 Anton you on my side baby me and you play on the same team sugar to help their partner and I think that's one of them I think there's a time and place when, you know, maybe your feelings are too much and men are like, I don't care about that. But I think to completely disregard a woman's emotions, also, there's a, there'll be an issue in the relationship there. You think so? I I'm, I'm not focused on what a woman thinks or what she cares about. Listen, B. Taylor, <laughs> you, get, you get way too, you care way too much about what Anton Daniels think. You care way too much about what this Negro think and you keep going to put yourself in a space where they, because you so beautiful, you are so attractive. They get off by dragging you down to the ground and stomping you. You over here wasting your breath. You wasting your beauty. You wasting your energy on a nigga that lets you know that he don't give a fuck. Hmm. Mm. So why you over there? Why you over there? What you, think, <laughs> what you think you no for real? What you think you proving to a nigga that just lets you know that he don't give a shit? Look. So my so my I guess thinking would be to bring a different perspective, you know, and not being scared to speak out for women that's like me, women who just to show them like if you are a woman that's over there listening to that like they may be quietly watching but i still can stand up for women and some of the stuff that they're saying i'm like no somebody needs to challenge this and i'm probably it's not a lot of women that are able to challenge they either kind of just agree with the men or listen to the men and say well they're men let's listen i'm like hell no hell no i don't care how annoying you think my voice is or how annoying I am. You know, they, they always say like, I sound like a little bug when I'm talking because I'm probably, you know, going off on them and calling them bandits. But I'm like, at the end of the day, I don't care what y'all have to say. I'm going to say it. And I'm letting y'all know that I still think you're not shit. And if no, you, you ain't, play, you ain't got I'm to go let you know that you ain't got to go in a space to tell them that you got women, you got women that you can talk to. You don't have to go talk to brick walls where they ain't going to do nothing but team up on you because they like to see a pretty woman get beat up on. You don't have to go into a space where you're you're not going to feel protected. Mm, mm. Men, thought, not, you know, men ain't I, the I, natural I, providers and protectors. Right. I was so I left the manosphere after talking to Yanni. I kind of left that space because I just needed that because it took a toll on my mental health, especially just, yeah, like I'm not married and I have, I have two children. So it's like after just hearing constantly, constantly, I'm not worth nothing. That stuff starts to get in your subconscious. But I feel like I came back stronger and it wasn't I came back for Anton. I like Q and I like a couple of people that I'm cool with on there. So I wanted to come on and like, bring a different perspective. It was cool. Um, but last Monday, I was like, oh. Who protected you like last me. Monday? Who protected you last Monday? Nobody. Myself. Right, Myself. nobody. And that's why you over here right now. And this is where you belong. You belong in a space where you'll feel protected, where you don't have a gang of people jumping on you just because they like to see a pretty woman get dragged. And you're there. You're doing it. They're doing it. And they let you know straight out their mouth that they don't care. So the person that's running the platform does not care, which means that the people who are on the platform also do not care. And and the so-called leaders, the providers and protectors take a person who's very soft, who's very sensitive, and they drag her and then nobody comes to her defense. Yeah, I got called out my name. I got called the bitch. <coughs> you ain't got, got no business me. being nowhere with somebody talking to you and handling you like that. Right. Right? 
So go where you appreciate it and not tolerate it. These people ain't hearing nothing you saying because they have their own self-interest in mind. They don't give a damn about women and they letting you know. We slot women based on what we need them for, what they need you for. If you ain't got the 41 shades of men, the pursuit to subdue and use you, you better get it because all these manosphere people, they own my team. They, all, they got all this shit to say, but they own my side. They are proving your points. They own my side, right? What y'all mad for? Because we saying the same thing. It's just that when you saying it, y'all think y'all can bully women to sit there and tolerate it and accept it. Whereas when I'm saying it, I'm letting these women know that they ain't got to put up with that. Girl, you too damn beautiful. You too damn attractive. And you got too much going for yourself to let people drag your self-confidence into the damn ground. Stay away from over there. Stay away from over there. Look. Keep on talking, bro. Or what she wants. I'm 100% focused on me. Okay. And then it's her responsibility to be focused on me. He say, I'm 100% focused on me. And it's her responsibility to be focused on me. So this how he do his wife, huh? Is that how he do his wife? It's her job to be focused on me. And it's my job to be focused on me. Total selfishness. Total energy sucker. Total parasite. This coming out his own mouth. I didn't put no words in his mouth. He's saying this. He on my side. What we got to debate about. What is that a debate about? Nothing. Because we saying the same shit. Let's go back. 549. Let's go back. Focused on <laughs> what a woman thinks or what she cares about or what she wants. I'm 100% focused on me. Okay. And then it's her responsibility to be focused on me. It's not my responsibility to care what a woman think, feel, don't matter what she think. It's, it's her job to be 100% focused on me, and it's my job to be focused on me. Women are the natural resource. Women are nature's resource. So when a man say he ain't got to focus on you and you got to 100% focus on him, baby, he is sucking the life out of you and he letting you know that he don't give a fuck about doing it either. So if your wife came to you with an emotional problem, would you disregard her like up front or would you listen to her at all? Like what? Give me an example. Um, say she was feeling insecure in the relationship and she felt like she wasn't getting enough security. Maybe she thought your eye was wandering and she was a little bit nervous about it. What would you do to comfort her? Or would well, you just- why would, why would she be nervous about that? that? The nature of a guy is to look at other women. Mm -hmm. Why would she be nervous about it? Letting you know that he don't give a damn. How she think, how she feel. This the nature of a man. This the nature of a man and I'ma do me. And I'm not going to care how she feel about it. He telling you. But then these will be the same people that say you chose him. As if he is the better choice. Right? This how, this how, they, this how they, they sit up here and tell you this to your face. But they never thought that you would wake up and hear them for real. They've been sitting here telling you this, thinking that you was going to keep fighting them and begging them. Keep fighting them and begging them to do something right, to care about you. They never thought that you was going to wake up and see them for who the hell they really are and hear them for what the hell they really saying to your face. They've been saying this. So if she was but if, like, you, if you understand that, then mm -hmm. that's not something you should be insecure about. If you understand that, then you shouldn't be insecure, right? Baby, why y'all sitting over here fighting for people's validation who letting you know to your face they don't care about you? You wasting precious time and energy trying to prove something to somebody that ain't never going to change their mind about how they see you. What we even talking about? Why waste your breath? Why waste your energy? Right? Okay. I think a lot of times our past, see how I just but you fixed did. You? Look, look, see how I just fixed you? They controlling. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But this what you, this what y'all want. This what y'all begging for. Y'all begging for a dude to abuse you as opposed to just going where you're appreciated. Men do not appreciate women. They use them for what they need them for, per the words of Anton Daniels. Wait a minute. Slot you based on what they need you for. His, his wife's job is to be 100% focused on him and he to be focused on him. And if she got a problem with anything, why she got a problem with it? She shouldn't, she shouldn't be insecure about what I'm going to do, right? Letting you know that he is totally invalidating your existence and your feelings. And all you're there to do is fuel him with 100% of your damn energy while he focuses on him and you don't get shit out the motherfucking deal, Right? What we what is that a debate about? Cause we saying the same thing. Unfortunately, I am not as lucky as your wife to find somebody young. Whoa, she say, oh, I'm not as lucky as your wife to find somebody that's emotionally dismissive, who is a parasite. What's lucky about that? Huh? What's lucky about that? Ain't nothing I want out of that. I don't want <laughs> B Taylor. Is that is that is that what you really want in a man? You want a man to slot you based on what he uses you for, so you can give a hundred percent of your focus to him while he don't care about how you feel or think. Is that is that your ideal man? Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Been there, done that. Don't want it. Right. So why give your pretty little attention to anybody, huh? You focus and you put your energy where it's appreciated. Mm. Right. Where you're valued, right? You go to you go to platforms that value you. Cause let me tell you, sugar, you having children don't diminish your value. You got talent, you have beauty, you got a lot of life ahead of you, and you don't let nobody get in your head and tell you you ain't shit. Stop going to places where they just want to beat up on you. And then people stand by and let them beat up on you. Mm. You're right. Right. So. Let me go to. Let's go to where they. Was trying to handle you. Oh. How was how, how was they trying to handle you? Let me see this. You don't let nobody handle you, girl. Good evening, good afternoon to everybody that has joined. Please hit the like before the algorithm is free. Welcome to the panelists, to the new panelists, the old panelists, the veterans that have been streaming on YouTube. It, we're waiting on one. It's a woman, but it's okay. We're going to start this show and we're going we gonna to get it cracking. How y'all been doing? Oh, you got new me. Get that man. Step a shot out. Well, I on. mean, I, I would pass the baton to Anton. He was going to give oh. him a shout out. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. I got, first, we're going to acknowledge the GOAT. We got to give my dog, Seth, a salute. Shout out to Seth. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, my dog. I appreciate so, that. Always a pleasure to have the young GOATs show up and show love um i see a um i see a new new one over there what's up coco stop hey, Do you know me? <laughs> this guy <died. laughs> let's see i want to see what time you come in oh yeah i come in a little after they got started was late okay there you go up there at the top No, 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 says that he was raped, not a kid, a man, mm -hmm. we don't look at it the same. Y'all just, y'all kept trying to change the argument. Oh, well, what if he was a boy? No, we was talking about men, right? Yeah. 
No, the but, topic but, is hold on, wait, wait, wait. Because we were because and we, we were talking big, because and we were talking about change the topic though. No, I, no, this is what we this is what we do. We go through different parts in order to be able to bring it back to to explore the entirety of it. My point just still stands. We don't look at it the same because if a man come back and say, "Oh man, that chick, she took my she took my draws." Y'all going to be looking, y'all not going to respect I them wouldn't. the same. Y'all exactly. So if you wouldn't respect them the same, then how do we apply the law equally across the board when by default you don't look at men the same? I yeah, never but, said I wouldn't. No, no, they just sexual, said that. Sexual assault. No, but you just said that you wouldn't look at it the same. No, I never said that. I never So, I, I if, so if a grown man it. said, "Yo, this chick just took my drawers and she raped me." You would look at him. You would look at yes, him. Yes, I'm gonna way. say she needs to wait, go wait, to wait, jail. Wait, wait, wait. You would look at him the same way that if a woman said it. Yes, yes. I don't believe that. I don't. Believe what do you that. mean? You, you, you're making it seem but, like that but, but, what, why, but why are we arguing a point that has nothing to do with the topic? The it topic has everything to do with the topic. It, but, we but don't look at we don't look at boys or men the same as we look at girls and women. So it's okay. So you say we don't look at boys then. If we don't look at boys, now ask Rita that same question and use a 13-year-old boy. It's a diff she don't look at it the same way as a 13-year-old boy. She said, if I see a man what? and he says this, yes, but is she a, would what, crack up. What did the law cue? What did the law define? 12, the 12 law, and under. What did the law say? 12 and under. 12 and under. I'm not. Oh, my God. But I know, but well, I mean, when, when you go and start talking about something else, when we're talking about boys... We're talking about young boys, and then you start talking about grown niggas. Okay, so lo logic, roofing. logic. Let me ask you a question. Cool. All right. So if a if a young dude, let's say a twelve year old dude, right? It's only twelve and under. Is that what you're saying? You? Yes. If that wasn't that. That wasn't an added criteria. We just threw that in there. We threw an age limit in there just now. Right. No, twelve and under was the law for Florida. That's okay, so that's the law for Florida. But a mm -hmm. minor in general, let's say the dude is 14, right? Mm -hmm. And he busts down the teacher. You she think that that, that hold on, wait, wait, wait. Do you think that, that that the teacher or the woman then deserves a death penalty? Yes, I agree. I'm asking logic. I'm asking oh. logic. Yeah, kill that hoe. Because we got to kill the niggas. <laughs> oh, if, if, she, if she's willing to mess with a 14-year-old, you don't know how low oh, she might go. Head. Like, that's crazy. Like, and this is why those women keep doing the shit that they're doing. Because there's Anton Daniels. Nah, she's just a teacher. Yo, yo, yo. Logic, nah. logic is on oh, the man. Man. Let's, let's just... I'm trying to figure out. Because it sounds like, you know, Anton is cool, you know. With the fourteen year old busting the teacher down, cause it ain't the same. Then what it sounds uh, like to me? No, what, it, it's it's not what it sounds like. It's what it is because he yeah. said he bust down an older woman when he was, I think he said he was twelve mm -hmm. or thirteen, and he was messing around with grown women. Mm -hmm. So he says he thinks that that's that's okay. That's okay, right, right, right? Because the male's purpose, this is what, what this is what people don't understand. The male's purpose on planet Earth biologically is to pass his genes along. Men and women are not the same, right? This is the reason why the average male, the overwhelming majority of males do not see a problem with this, which is the reason why Boosie got his son a stripper, okay? Right? Because this is, this is their ultimate life goal biologically. Everything else is artificial. Getting a house, getting a car, getting social status, that's all artificial, which has no bounds on biology. The highest biological goal of the male is to pass his genes along. So they praise that as early as they can get it in their mind. 13, popping a 25-year-old, that's, that's gold to them because of their biological or ultimate biological goal. This idea of equality, people are buying into it when it's, it's false, it's not real. So here's the thing, we are sitting here listening to the male psyche. Y'all have not learned how to actively listen to people without projecting your own BS 
on to a situation or what a person's saying. Learn to hear exactly what a person is saying and interpret what they are saying, not what you feel they saying, not what you want them to say. Listen to them and hear exactly what they're saying and take it for exactly what it is. He don't see a problem with it. Why don't he, doesn't he see a problem with it? Because biologically, that's what they about. Period. Let's be real. Logic is saying this because he don't want to be wrong. He don't believe that shit. What? I'm saying, no. He don't believe that shit. What I'm saying. Let logic. It, how, how, how. Listen, and, and, and Anton is letting you know that the other male is full of it. You know why? Because men know other men. They know each other. So he know that this dude lying. He know that he lying. Because the male does not have an internal moral compass. Morality is a byproduct of philosophy. Philosophy does not exist at the, low, at the lower part of the chakras. Right? Which is where males are trapped at. This is why Anton Daniels can say straight up, logic is lying. Because he know he lying, and I know he lying. Because see, me and Anton, we on the same team, baby. Me and Anton saying the same thing. Ain't, ain't, no, ain't no debate, baby. Ain't them needed. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, hold, hold, let, let, uh, how you old, say, I don't believe it. If you how, say, old were you, how old were you when you lost your virginity, Logic? Maybe like 14. How old was the chick? I think, I don't know, maybe 13, 14, <laughs> something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all think it's crazy. <laughs> like, what you want me to go when, back? When, when you were younger, no, 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 no. When you were younger, did you ever see? See, these dudes are so arrogant. They know the chicks up here ain't hearing them. They know that these chicks ain't listening. They know that. So they can get up here and tell the truth and then the chicks, because they want to they wanna be picked, they want to get their point across, they want to be validated by a male, will let all of this shit go through their head and not scrutinize none of it. Not scrutinize any of it. Just like that little white chick over there going to say, oh, your, your wife is so lucky to have you. Ma'am, what's lucky about a per having a person that don't give a fuck about your feelings and letting you know that your job is to pull all your energy into him? What the fuck is lucky about that? Not a goddamn thing. Stop being a pick me, damn it. Y'all need to stop being pick me's. Looking for Peter Wacker to validate you. And then you sit up here and let all of this information go straight across your doggone head and you don't think about it. But y'all got so much smoke for me out here. For what? What you got so much smoke for me for? Hmm? When they out here saying this, you ain't listening because you too busy doped up on Peter Wacker juice. With an older chick? Not when yes, I was nigga. Not, when you no, gotta no, look no, in the no, stare, no, when you gotta look in the sky, now you gotta look in the sky and you gotta think about it. Yes, no, just be real, bro. I'm saying it is this, right? Have you it, ever listen? Stumbled? Listen, he say just be real because he know logic is lying. Why? Because men know other men. They know how they feel in their body. They know what their ultimate biological goal is. And so if I was to say this, you just hate men. You typecasting all men. Meanwhile, Anton Daniel speaking for the majority of them, saying the same damn thing. And he telling logic, you a goddamn liar. Be real. The same way that fatty was saying on Daryl's channel, Fatty was saying, hey, man, this is what it is. And they sitting up here saying, man, you proving Priscilla point because y'all know it's the truth. Stop trying to clean up your language to try to stop from proving me right because y'all can't do it. You can't not prove me right because this is who you are. Yeah. But an older this, chick. This, this is what I'm saying, right? If we gonna make a stance and we say the Jeffrey Epstein type shit need to stop. We ain't talking wait, about that. Wait, we know wait, that that need to wait, stop. Wait, wait, wait. Listen what I'm saying. See, now when they make 
laws that's not defined to one gender, y'all get mad. But it, wait, 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 hold on, let me finish. Initially, what you were saying is this shit ain't fair anyway. It shouldn't do it because bitches ain't gonna get it. But you say you don't want bitches to get it. No. no, he don't want them to get it. No male wants the woman to get it, which is the reason why they got so much smoke for me. Well, why you got so much smoke for me when we all saying the same thing? It's because I got these pretty little oily things right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because some days I come in here. Some days I come in here looking like Lil Bow Wow. Yeah, some days I do come in here looking like Lil Bow Wow, right? Cause I can, I I can switch it up, baby. That's how I do. That's how I do, right? <laughs> that how I do. I ain't tripping, baby. I ain't tripping. Look, let me come back to the front screen. You look so gorgeous. Thank you. Your teeth, look. Your teeth are straight. Ew. That's your real hair. It's pretty. You done took care of it. Look, and I can see your places clean. Yeah, they tried to say I was wearing a wig. No, baby, I'm not wearing a wig. I'm no, not that's, wearing a wig. that's your real hair. Prince Ella, the one wearing the wig. Yeah, yeah, I'm the one. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one with the missing edges on the left side. I'm the one wearing the wig. That's right. Don't worry about it. I can take it. I can take it, goddammit, because if I can dish it, I can take it. So I don't worry about that. But you, on the other hand, you just as gorgeous as you want to be. Thank you, P. Thank you. Right? <laughs> right? Okay, so anyway, let's get back to this. Let's get back to this circus show. Uh, uh we got fourteen hundred people in the building. Can we get the likes up a little bit? <laughs> let's try to get it up to at least nine hundred. Let's try to get it up to at least nine hundred. I know y'all over there in, on the background crying, crying. That's probably why you don't want to like the show because you're mad. I know. I know you're sitting there watching from the clouds. Yeah, they can't even what, comment. They gotta join. Mm, they show sure can't. You know what? I'm gonna let y'all ass join. You know what? I'm gonna open up. But if y'all if y'all ass get to causing ruckus, I'm gonna put this shit back on members now. All right. So let me. I'm gonna open it up for y'all so y'all can uh, get your little commentary out because I know y'all got a lot to say. <laughs> oh, baby, I know you got a lot to say as you should, as you should, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ask I want you to ask Anton Daniels why he why he exposed y'all asses like this. Why he exposed you like this? So you don't think he's only speaking for himself? No, he ain't speaking for himself because he I, I, I already I already exposed um empty man he exposed himself right <laughs> charleston exposed himself right yeah all in them exposing all these men fresh and fit exposed all these men exposing themselves, and for some reason they want to shift the perception of the audience to act like i'm the crazy one i'm the one oh she ain't right but here's the thing they saying this they saying this out their own mouth right <laughs> they are. Yeah. Oh, that's just him. No, 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 no. That shit right there ain't gonna work too much longer, baby. <laughs> it ain't gonna work too much longer. Okay, let me um mm. oh this is just so you having fun, B Taylor. I'm having fun. No beef. No yeah. beef. Hey, but baby, I'm having fun. Yeah, baby, ain't no beef. Ain't no beef, right? It's, it's just, or do you feel I, just, I really want it. I I called it out and I'm I told him, I told him, look, she called you to the forefront. And he's like, no, no, no. She calls you to the forefront. She's not scared of the dog fight. It's just not. I feel like Anton's a little intimidated. He's a little scared. Well, of course, scared. Of, of course he would be because he know how I do. He he know I listen to what people say, and he know I he he got to know I didn't listen to him. He got to know that I didn't listen to him, right, baby. Baby, these ears hear everything. These ears hear everything. Sure do. <laughs> <laughs> they hear everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He said I wasn't smart enough to trick him into a debate. I'm like, I'm right, not right, trying right, to trick right, you. Right, right. I Listen. think it would make a good show. Yeah. I think it would make a great show. I have no beef with none of these people. I just think that he is one of the top people of the manosphere. So why not? challenge her points you know especially since he is mentioned in your book why not oh yeah he was the 
yeah, he, he, he gave me some real valuable stuff to put in the book. I'm like, yes, I, I'm going to reference his words. Show <laughs> I'm just trying to give him a good show. I don't know why he wasn't for it. Because he knew... He knew he ain't had no dog in this fight. He knew he couldn't stand on it. <laughs> he knew he couldn't stand on it. How you gonna how you gonna go against your own words, right? You've been saying this shit for how how long, Anton? How long you been saying this? And now you don't don't get like empty man. Get caught up. Caught, get get caught with your pants down and your hands in the cookie jar, and then want to act like already look eight. Like I don't like already. I don't see. Yeah, like I don't see what I see, <laughs> baby. <laughs> like I don't see what I like I don't see what I see. Hey, hey, listen, okay. Anyway, let's let's continue to uh, <laughs> enjoy the show. <laughs> what they talking about? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh man. Well, you know his. I I feel like your audience ride with you so hard, and his audience ride with him so hard, and I just. I think it would just make a great show. Well, he ain't. What, what, what we gonna talk about? What we gonna be playing? Shoots and ladders? I mean, we on the same team. <laughs> I mean, what we gonna be talking about? We gonna be singing yeah. Kumbaya, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We gonna be singing I, them church hymns. <laughs> We and he'll be the backup singer. Cause see, I'm the I'm the I'm, I'm the new I'm the new. I'm the new, I'm the HNIC, I'm the new HNIC in, in, in this space right now, right? Yeah. right? So he gonna be the backup singer, right? <laughs> right? He gonna be the backup singer. When I say it, men use you, men slot you for what we need you for. <laughs> for what you need you for, say it again, Anton. We slot you for what we need you for. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baby, he gonna be a hell of a goddamn backup singer. <laughs> that right? <laughs> that right, get them vocal cords ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well, what i said was i don't agree with it across the board that wasn't even a conversation from the very beginning i prefaced the conversation that said that i'm asking you have you ever slept with an older chick not when i was under age that's quick. fucking lying i know logic bro he no logic he fucking I don't know. Lied. I'm gonna give logic the no, benefit no, of the no, doubt. No, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm speaking on Anton Daniel's psychology, mm -hmm. and the psychology of men knowing men, right? So in mm. his mind, right, he say, "Man, logic. He lying. I know this dude, right? So, hmm. If, if." Let's hypothetically say that there are lies going between the both of them and they know men telepathically know each other. Mm. Uh, sweetheart, y'all don't have y'all don't have a leg to stand on a chance in a dog in the fight. You don't have no chance at winning when they'll lie to each other. Right. And then they'll turn around and lie to you and pretend to be some shit and then turn around and blame you for choosing them and believing the lie. Right. Oh my God! Yeah. So, so so look at this. Men know other men. They know how they think. That's why he keep calling him a liar, right? And here's the thing. Fatty was saying some very similar stuff on Daryl's show, right? So here's the thing. Mm. The reason why everybody was calling Derek Jackson a simp is because they know the nature of males and they know it ain't no chance that a dude is doing something for you because he really care about you. No, he's doing it because he's trying to get something out of you. That's the reason why they call him a simp. Off yeah. the rip. Off the rip. Right? How the fuck you gonna tell me? I when know I you, nigga. Age, age. I know who you are in real life. I know you. Bro. Yeah, but not underage. Yeah, I want why I want he's like, I know you, I know you. See, now you don't here's the thing. Logic then say, yeah, but not under age. Now you don't even know if you can actually believe him because Anton Daniels done made him actually come out and at least say that. So now it's like, <clears throat> now nah, play, now nah, playboy. I know you're blatantly lying on this panel. I know you blatantly lying. The women, 
they 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 too docile to be to listen to the conversation they not listening they just want their chance to speak and to speak to this ideal shit they don't even know what they talking about this this is this is just this is, <laughs> no y'all do, you call me <laughs> yeah you too you too y'all don't know I, was, what the hell I ain't gonna about. lie sometimes when they you know a lot of the times i tune out it was so much going on. I tuned out. You got your friend here. You say his name too many times. He pop up like a, um, like the boogeyman. Mhm. Mm okay, go ahead. No school teacher. B Taylor, I'm don't you have here. sons? How would you feel if if your son, let's say he's fourteen, smashes the teacher? And you find out would you be okay because males and females do not think the same this is the part that women don't get they steady trying to push this equality stuff not realizing that there is a fundamental difference between males and females and y'all steady trying to make males think feel and believe like women and they ain't never gonna think feel or believe that way mm. Does the teacher kind of gave him his manhood? No, never. She's going to jail. She's going to get an ass whooping and she's going to jail. I actually I'm spoke sorry. to one of my cousins like years ago. My cousin, his friend got expelled from school. He was 14 and he slept with his teacher. And he actually told me how he pursued the teacher. She was being cheated on by her husband. And so he used to start off flirting with her. And he said he slowly made comments every day. She started to giggle and laugh. Then he started kind of like touching her back and then slowly putting his hand down to her ass. And she let him and he was like, oh, OK. So he started rubbing on her more and more. It was like a progressive thing. And finally, she they got each other number they started texting she had him texting her husband coming over busting her down she slept with him she got charged and fired and whatever and he got expelled from school yeah uh, that was mr if miss dooley would have let me bust her down nigga, we had miss welsh nigga. she was the biology teacher was... i want you to hear listen to the males and the and and, and women they too silly they want to keep fighting against the male to try to get the male to think, believe, and behave like them instead of stop, stop, stop fighting with them. Let them tell you the truth about their thoughts instead of you trying to force them to believe and behave away. Let them expose themselves. Now he's sitting up here saying it. Why y'all, why will y'all not accept men for what they tell you they are huh what what's wrong with you to keep trying to force men to be women when y'all become like grown men y'all gotta understand like you're trying to speak logic and rationale to biologically motivated people. Mm. Yeah. They don't listen to you. Now you just heard Anton sit up here and say, do you think we care about what a woman think or want or anything? Baby, they not listening to you because you don't know men and your opinion about how they think and feel as men is irrelevant. They're telling you what they think and you y'all just want to keep fighting against it. Stop fighting them. Stop giving them resistance. That's the only reason they bold enough to sit up here and tell you this because they know that you're not going to accept it. They know you're going to stay in the Lulu land and try to convince them that they ain't what the hell they telling you they are. Mm. Mm. are uh basically glamorizing predators and this is how a lot of women no i'm just telling you the logic of how people think Listen. i'm just telling you the logic of how people think this is the reason why the male truly believes that women are dumb this is the reason why they believe that they're more logical than you because y'all asses fight to stay in delulu land and they know that you want their validation so much that you're not going to 
See them. You, you're going to keep painting rose colored lenses, rose colored images over what they show you and what you hear. Just like that chick where the dude, the one that had cancer and he get up there and say he um, get her oh to have look, she gets up there to defend him and say he said it wrong. No, bitch, he didn't say it wrong. He said exactly what the hell he meant. But you want to pretty it up so it don't feel so bad. Y'all try to flip what they saying into some rose colored stuff. And they notice this is why they bold enough to tell you to your face. A woman, a woman, a, a fine, bad teacher in high school is like, that's like a woman, female correction officer in a male prison. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh? Listen, listen, they always been like this. A fine teacher is basically like a female prison guard in an all male prison. There, it, the, the male's identity, his whole existence exists in his Peter Wacker. And this is where Sigmund Freud comes in when he talks about um, the pathway to getting or breaking the Oedipus complex. And he speaks on how the male's identity exists in his pedowacker, in the phallus. This is who they are. They are their phallus. And y'all steady trying to reason with the unreasonable. The male is unreasonable. Better it's, yet, it's literally the same thing. Or, or better yet, it's, it's like the same. It's just it's like a woman. Same. It's like a it's woman's not, fantasy. A lot of these teachers are young now, so like they're just now graduating from like college or whatever. Or just out of, like they're so young, so a lot of these boys nowadays they look like grown, you know, young men. And so we see it, it's like they, they don't even look at them like children no more. They look at it. But let them tell it, Priscilla the one speaking crazy. Let them tell it, Priscilla the one speaking crazy. And then you'll have pick me's from the mammosphere to try to convince me I'm wrong while the people that they actually take up for keep telling you out their own goddamn mouth. But you want to fight me. You want to challenge me? What the fuck you challenging me for? Huh? Cuz you got Peter Wacker juice on the brain. And you are you are you have internal misogyny coded into your damn body. And you ain't got no logical or rational sense. You don't know how to listen. You listen to women long enough to fight them so that you can take up for a Peter Wacker. And these dudes are bold enough to tell you in your face they don't give a fuck about you. They and I want to clarify. Yet. I want to clarify something because I'm not sitting up here saying that young boys look like they're attractive. I'm saying that there was some studies done where a lot of these young ch teachers are graduating from college and going into these high schools where they are finding them attractive. I did not condone it. I'm not saying that's right. I'm saying that this is what's been studied when it is that type of situation. Okay, well, here, you you talk to them for a second, okay? Because I got to go turn on my AC because I didn't got... <laughs> I done got on fire here. Hold on. I was just looking at the comments because, uh, no, I'm not condoning it. Not y'all calling me Christian Rock of the Manosphere. What? But I'm telling the truth. Like, this is something that's a lot of the teachers that's been convicted, they are young. And they're messing with the high schoolers. So it's not me just trying to condone that. I just want to put that out there. I didn't make myself look bad at all. Y'all got to listen. Thank you. Thank y'all. Oh, I must really be on fire because the AC already down. <laughs> <laughs> it's that, it's that wine. Boy, I must be real lit. I must be real hype up in here. <laughs> it's the wine. It's the wine. 
Mm-hmm. You sure it ain't you, Mama? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's that too. That's that yeah, too. <laughs> God damn. Okay. <laughs> Turned up the heat with the little nice. <laughs> mm. Sooky, sooky. All right, come on, baby. Let's get going. Let's keep on right. talking. Them like 18, 19 year olds. So I think that's why a lot of people are like, oh, well, be graceful on this young woman. Because he's living out his fantasy through this, you know, teacher. But no, she needs to face the penalties. Like this is grooming. It's still grooming. I think a lot of men think that it's acceptable to be groomed at a young age, and it's not. You know, know what's the crazy part about this though? Is when you hear Anton and Stefan. Listen, if I didn't know no better, I got caught off guard a few times with this dude voice. I say. Like, is this T.I. Is this on the panel? The nigga sound just like T.I. Because I swear I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. I'm like, man, that nigga sound like T.I. And then I have to look. I said, this nigga don't look nothing like T.I. But he shows up. They both from Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Well, you could. Yeah. He sounds just like him. Hold on. Yeah. All right. They call him. Uh, Talk about uh, laws don't yeah. apply. They call him what? They call him a clone and a simp because he's progressed in this space where he's over these same talking points, talking and bashing women. He's like, this is just getting old. And so they like to call him cloned and a simp because he goes against Anton. He challenges Anton's points because he's like, he's like on the opposite end where he's like, y'all not really, y'all just saying stuff just to say stuff on the internet. And this is goofy and silly. So they don't mm-hmm. like him either. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. I'm sure not. Well, because the, the, the little incels in the comments, they don't like him. Mm-hmm. Apply to women, right? Uh, St- Stephen is Coles, right? And Anton. Why you can't get pop. his name what? right? It's Stephen Coles. Ain't no I in it. Just say Steph. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nigga, I ain't gotta say shit. He know who I'm talking to. You know who I'm talking to, nigga. Look, check this out. <laughs> you niggas saying laws don't apply to women. Right, right now, your 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 stance is saying, you know what? Just because she bad, laws don't apply to her when it come to fucking kids. But that's you not still, what he said. Wait, wait, hold on, wait. God, you can't wait. throw words in our mouth. I pray you did, nigga, and You said it don't matter. You said you I don't see that word. Conversation by saying that it it's it's not right. But then Bro. I just said that I said that men and women inherently look at each other differently as far as how the law is applied. I didn't, okay. justi- I didn't justify it. I didn't say say that it's right or wrong. I just said that it's applied differently based off of gender. That's why uh, you don't see Because that. there is a biologically, there is a fundamental difference between males and females. This is why, right? The male's ultimate biological goal is to pass his genes along. It's sex. This is the reason why. Okay. But we so busy trying to force equality when it ain't no such thing as equality. Instead of understanding where all of this stuff come from. Women so was it wrong that that lady popped your uh got your V card? Yo, what is you talking about? Don't yeah, first yeah. of all, you almost said pop your card. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying. You, you can't tell Q shit, nigga. She like she bring out all the shit. But, but why? Hey, I, I just, I, I just say this, I, can't, I can't let him get away with this. Cause see, just, what y'all saying is that these rules and laws don't apply to them. Hmm. But then you'll get mad later when they utilize that same shit that it don't apply to me. Anton Daniel said, "Logic. Here's the reason why." Because men are the authors of confusion, right? They out for their self-interest. So the goalposts always change depending on what benefit him at the moment. If the law, if, if, if the narrative benefits him now, then he going to run with it. Because right now, hey, it's about, hey, man, getting our Peter Wacker wet and busting a chick down no matter what age. Okay, so. Yeah, but then when it comes to seeing a woman get dragged and the law not benefiting him, now it's a a different argument. The the goalpost will always change if you leave it into the hands of a male. 
because it's always going to be based on what benefits him at the moment. Simple as that. I can fuck with little thirteen year old boys, and it's a trophy for Why him. Why is logic throwing work? Why is logic this is what you were saying. <laughs> I never <laughs> said it. I said that I don't believe women across the board, and because the laws is not applied equally across the board, this doesn't even make sense for us to even be having this conversation because we know that a woman is never going to get the death penalty to begin with. That's what I said. Bro, nigga, you, I, I'm going to start calling your ass Reggie Miller, nigga, because you be fading away the whole goddamn, let me fade the fuck away. Last woman that got that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all, that, that, that's all he would do if me and him had a conversation. He would fade to black, right? Because, <laughs> right, right? He fade to black. What we even talking about, right? <laughs> that just. <laughs> I leave was last year. I just looked it up. What she get it for? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't look it up. She would have that. to do something egregious. She killed somebody. She oh, killed. Probably killed kill somebody. somebody. Probably. I don't know why this is such a difficult thing. Y'all know that men look at women differently than women look at men. This is not rocket science. Y'all know that. It's okay. Not. So what if the because everybody want to live in Delulu land? Like I told you, me and Anton, we on the same team. <laughs> he, he's speaking my. He, he's speaking for me, right? <laughs> That's because Anton. They want to live in Delulu land and everybody's lying. Everybody's in, in order to live in Delulu land. Everybody got to live a lie. This is the reason why ain't nobody being honest on the on, on the panel. And this is the reason why people are able to make money due to dysfunction, due to delusional people operating in total dysfunction. That's the only way a conversation like this could go on for two and a half hours. Because it couldn't go on for two and a half hours if everybody just told the truth. You need a bunch of delusional ass people who don't want the truth to go in circles for two and a half hours. But no, what would you say to that when he say that? Like, what would be your response to that? What would be my response to what? To what he just said. Like, what would you say to that? About males and the teachers or whatever? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I'm focused on what he focused on, the psychology of males and females. The law is the law, right? And the laws are made for a reason. However, the laws do not change male nature. They don't. And what he's talking about is the nature of males, the psychology of males. The law is the law because it is designed to control human nature laws are designed to control human nature so what what is it that they're trying to control right in this case the biological reality of how each sex look at each other that will lead to sexual behavior that's what we're talking about Right. It ain't about what's right and what's wrong. It's about what is. And that's what we talking about. Like I say, Anton Daniels on my side. He talking for me. This look like Respucia. Like she's like hunchback and Notre Dame. No type. nigga in high school was trying to buzz down Respucia. She ended up messing yeah, with a 14 year old. Y'all yeah, be like, she grown that man. She probably forced him and she didn't look like this hot teacher. So are y'all basically saying that looks do matter? No, I ain't you, you like lock that pit no bull up. <laughs> lock that pit bull up. I mean, what's the whole because point of remembering a good high school teacher, teacher if looks don't lock matter, you know? It's either right. you're going to remember her for how bad she was or you're going to remember her for how, how like, not attractive she was. You know, there's no middle ground. Like they Listen, they sitting up here telling you how they think. And y'all, as women, want to keep fighting them. The hell you fighting nah, for? From perspective, I wanted a perspective because I, I, this is to me like I didn't grow up with brothers. I didn't grow up hanging around boys. All I've grown up with was women. So it's new to me to hear a lot of these things where I'm like, okay, well, what if it was from this perspective? So I'm gonna just challenge it because I've never heard this before. I've never heard locker room talk. Well, I have. I've been around men my whole life. I done worked with them in 
all these male dominated industries. I was a tomboy my whole life. I've been around, I know how they talk. I know how they think. So this, these conversations that y'all hearing finally, baby, they've been having these conversations. I've been hearing this. See, these are the types of conversations, right? That when a woman like you, you could walk by a, a group of men in a huddle and they be talking. And when you walk by, they'll shut up. They'll, they'll mm -hmm. be quiet. And then when you pass by, they'll resume the conversation. See, I could be in those groups, right? They would talk around me like this. Mm. This ain't nothing new. This new for y'all. That's why. That's why I already know this. That's why the book is. That's why I got the book here, right? <laughs> right. So y'all just now coming to hear them. I've been hearing they ass for a minute. Yeah, this is new to me. So that's why I'm like, it's not that I'm like delusional to what they're saying. It's just new to me where I'm like, okay, well, what about this? And okay, y'all still look the same if this is this is situation. So I'm listening. It's not that I'm like, oh Lord. It's not that I'm like not believing what they're saying. It's just, it's new. Mm -hmm. And see, it's, see to, to be in a relationship with a man, is to opt in to playing a game. When you get into a relationship like this, you are you are voluntarily signing up to play games for the rest of your life, right? And if you if you don't have if you don't have a life purpose and you got you have no reason to be on the planet and you ain't got nothing but time to waste, then get in a, get in a relationship with X Y's, right? You you'll have a roller coaster ride on your hand every day. Sure will, mm. right? Because this is this is just who they are. This is who they are. There's never gonna be any harmony voluntarily. There has to be a game to be played to manipulate each other to behave the way each other wants each other to behave. <laughs> because there's a fundamental difference between y'all. That's just the bottom line. You know, what I don't like this. See, this is what I don't like. I don't like how, you know, women try to shame us for our nature, but y'all have hidden nature too. Y'all like got fantasies too. Listen, they letting you know this our nature. Why y'all steady trying to force them to change into women? Y'all are arguing with them to try to get them to think and behave like women. And this is how you end up draining all your energy in relationships, trying to get a man to be a woman. Did what y'all do. And they sitting up here letting you know they ain't never going to do it. But your ass to sit up here and listen to it and try anyway. And then get out here and cry. He did this to me. He did that. No fucking duh. You know, it's a fantasy. I never for a man to see they shaking their head like no. Like he you, see, you see, you see how the women are shaking their head, and he calls it out. Steph is cold. He say, "Look, look at her shaking her head." They say this to you, and this is why they so bold because they know that you're going to reject them and try to push your beliefs and your narratives on them. They know you're not gonna hear what they're saying. They know that you're so arrogant and so delusional that you're not listening to them and you're dismissing them. That's what they know. And that's another reason why they despise you because y'all got all these damn degrees. You got all of this stuff and y'all are this dumb to sit here and not actively listen to men tell you who they are. And then you will reject them when they keep telling you. This is why they don't respect you or your degrees, because no matter how many degrees you get, you still let a Pookie and a Ray Ray run silly ass game on you this why they don't respect you because look at all of y'all all of the women up here doing the same thing being dodo birds why these dudes are giving you the truth about their psychology and they do they do right 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 look at the man look look keon Anton and Steph, they all in agreement. Both, all three of them are in agreement with each other. And Miss San Sanchez shaking her head. This is the reason why they handle y'all like this. Because you refuse 
to accept them for what they're telling you. It's yeah. every, it goes against everything that we are taught, though, too. Because, like I said, I was not, I didn't hang around boys. I wasn't allowed to hang around boys. I, didn't, I wasn't allowed to hang around men when they were out talking. I was not allowed to be in on those conversations. So from what I was taught from my dad and the other men in my family, that, that oh, no, like, there are good men out there that do think like this. So hearing this is like, what? To a lot of us, because we don't, like, it's just, you know... Yeah, that's why it's t- like we we're going into we're in the age of Aquarius that believing shit is over with now. And so this is the reason why the men have an issue with Steve Harvey because or, or a person like me, because they want y'all to stay dumb. They don't want you to get the knowledge. And a lot of these women got Peter Wacker juice on their brain so much that they don't want to hear it. This is the reason why the men use the pick me's because they know the pick me's are dumb as hell. They use the pick me's to get to women that they that they want to humble. They don't give a damn about the pick me's because they ain't no challenge. They ain't nothing but stepping stools to get to the women that they really want that they can't get so that they can humble them. And the pick me too damn dumb to see it. Because she won't validation from the damn male. And she'll spend all her damn time trying to challenge me on what? What are you challenging me on? What are any of y'all challenging me on? Because these men are sitting up here screaming with a goddamn bullhorn the same shit that I'm telling you. Obviously, yeah, y'all, nature, nature, y'all nature is to go after the yeah y'all think with y'all dicks like so i no, think no, that's I, 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 y'all I, nature. And say oh can i stick my dick in that like no that's not what women are thinking we want nah, like, most of the time when what a woman thinking cheats, about the income when a, wo- when no, a woman cheats, about grown men. when a woman cheat she do not cheat up she cheat down the fuck down so please miss me with that bullshit that y'all talking about right now nah, when a woman that. cheat listen the dude that she with, he love her, he take care of her, he cherish her, he rub her ugly fucking feet and her dumbass birthmark every day. <laughs> and, and Look, your ugly feet and your dumbass birthmark, yeah, that sound like, listen, that sound like love to me, right? He love her and then he turn around and describe you like that, right? <laughs> sound like love to me, huh? <laughs> boy <laughs> boy y'all ain't gonna have no other choice but to be like damn princella right because if you don't bow down to that fact you just want to stay in the lulu land you a liar and your identity is a lie you a fake friend everything about you is a lie because for a person to not be able to look at the truth and acknowledge damn and you still holding you ain't somebody i want to deal with because i know you a whole motherfucking liar Everything about you is a lie. <laughs> and and no. she wound up cheating with a nigga that don't give a fuck about her. Please don't tell me about y'all. How, got to, how did we get to here? We were talking about pedos. We were talking yeah. about pedos. No, no. no be, but be, what we talking about female nature that y'all don't want to own up to. Listen, y'all talk all that shit and y'all keep saying stuff because in general, you know that overwhelmingly, and this is why logic is simple. Overwhelmingly, when they talk about these laws and they put it together, it's really applying to men. Mm-hmm. What I tell you? What I tell you? I told you, me and Anton Daniels was on the same team. That's the reason why we ain't. That's the reason why we ain't debating because we saying the exact same thing. These laws were made for men to control men because without them, these dudes would be reckless. They yeah. know the laws were not made. So here's the thing. How can you say that Priscilla is generalizing all men and it's not all men, some men, and Anton will let you know that these laws was made to control men <laughs> because men have the same fundamental nature, honey child. The same fundamental nature, which is the reason why Anton was telling Logic, man, you know you a liar. You know, he's telling him, you know you a liar and the women don't hear this shit. But they got all the smoke for Prince Seller. Huh, for what? You scared? 
Are you scared of the damn truth? You scared to stand on the truth? Huh? When the men keep saying this out their own mouths, tell them, tell them the truth, Anton. Tell them the truth that you've been saying since I've been recording this. You ain't said nothing but the truth. Anton Daniel spoke 100% truth up here, but y'all don't hear him. You don't hear him. That's real, the realistic yeah. thing. This thing is going to largely be applied mm. to guys across the board, justifiably, because if a dude... Listen, he say it's going to be applied to the men largely across the board, justifiably. Justifiably. He said it's justified to have these laws on men. Baby, mm. do I really need to keep going? Because, baby, do I need to keep going? Who else got some shit to say to me? Who else got some shit to say about me, huh? When when y'all when I'm through dragging the manosphere up and down this goddamn on YouTube streets, all of them gonna be rushing to the mic to put a damn muzzle over it. Put a muzzle over their damn mouth. Cause we talking too much. We talking too much. They gonna stop all these male podcasts cause they telling on they self. Yeah, they are. Right? All of them. Listen, I ain't ran into one. Charleston told on y'all. Anton telling on y'all, right? Empty man got up here and told on you, right? All these men that have been on my platform showed y'all. They showed you on the peef panel. I ain't met none of these men in person except for Charleston. And that was at the that was <laughs> at the day of the event. Right. All of them have exposed the same mentality and the same nature. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. But y'all got the nerve to think that you going to come over here and say some, not all. Well, you sh bring me a man that ain't go that ain't been exposed yet. Bring me somebody that ain't been exposed yet. Right. So I can expose them and I don't have to know them from Adam. Bring me any of them. Bring me any of them. Touch a touch an underage girl. I'm not for that shit. I ain't with it or whatever. But because we know that it applies to men, it makes the argument disingenuous because we know that y'all got some egregious fucking thoughts. Look, listen. Anton telling you the truth. He know that y'all got egregious thoughts. The doctor who ran 46,000 brain scans said that women's brains don't do quite the toxic things that toxic things that the male brain does. Anton telling you that it's justified to have these laws on men because we know that men have these fucked up thoughts going through their head. This coming out of his mouth. When y'all gonna stop? When you gonna stop addressing me and go address these goddamn men, huh? When you going to stop thinking you going to get clout on my name, thinking that you going to address me when you going to address these men as if I'm wrong. These dudes saying exactly everything that I done fucking told you. Right. But you scared that I got the influence to get women to listen. That's the difference. Women actually listen because I can show them. I can make them hear stuff that they ain't heard before. But y'all been saying it. You've been saying it. So what you what you mad at me for? What is the damn argument? You ain't got no dang on argument. None of y'all. And y'all just don't want to admit it in order to be able to have an honest conversation. Facts. Anton just told you, let's go back to 35 even. Listen to him. Listen to him. A man is telling you the wicked thoughts that go through men's mind and they just don't want to admit it. Priscilla just typecasting all men, but here go Anton and all these men get exposed when I break it down. ...be applied hmm. to guys across the board, justifiably, because if a dude touch an touch a underage girl, I'm not for that shit, I ain't with it, or whatever. But because we know that it applies to men, it makes the argument disingenuous because we know that y'all got some egregious fucking thoughts 
and y'all just don't want to admit it in order to be able to have an honest conversation so that so that we can really across the board. yeah yeah see and see here you go because and so and you all of y'all have no clue about male nature y'all don't know men you know nothing about them and so they know you know nothing about them and y'all will shake y'all head no 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 and fight and argue with them and instead of listening to them instead of shutting y'all's mouths for a damn change because you all done got played by these men so clearly it's something that you don't know that maybe because you got two ears and one mouth Sometimes y'all need to just be quiet and let a motherfucker talk and listen to them. That's the problem. Ain't nobody listening to nobody. Everybody just want to run their mouth and everybody just want to be heard. Shut the fuck up and let a person talk and hear them out. So let me let me let me run to the um to the to the doctor again cuz Anton just said it. Anton just said it. So let's listen to the doctor one more again. Let's see, plug this up. You know what's funny though? What I noticed is that some of these women are no better than the shit that these men be talking to because just as the hate that I get with the men in the comments, these like these women do the same shit, which is actually surprising, but they're actually well, a little bit What what, what well, here's the thing. Everybody, listen, listen, everybody has been indoctrinated under this system, okay? And it's a male-driven system. So everybody is conditioned to think, believe, and behave like males. So, mm. you know, that's just the bottom line. So we got to get out of our feelings and we got to just... I think they get hyped up when you get hyped up and they think you're talking Listen, to listen, listen, listen. We just talking. I'm going to need you to turn off the comments... OK, <laughs> yeah, because you sensitive and you get you get caught up in what people saying. Turn the comments off. Stop paying attention to that. And let's pay attention to this show. Again, we already spoke behind the scenes how this was going to go. OK, mm. so stop concerning yourself with what other people thinking and what they saying, because that's how you getting caught up. That's how you getting caught up. That's how you keep getting baited back over there, talking to people whose intent is to beat your confidence down. Stop caring about what people got to say. Yeah. Okay? Because you're not going to change that. People going to do that. All right. Uh, so. Okay. Well, brain is there is there between the female brain and the, and the male brain is there is there a bit massive really difference. okay I published a study on 46,000 scans looking at male brains versus female brains and it's like we're not even the same species right yeah it's like we not even the same species so this is this is a brain doctor who has run 46,000 scans and letting you know there is a massive difference between male brains and female brains. But females got a they, they they so ignorant and they think they know everything because they all they do is listen to males and regurgitate male talking points because they're trying to get validation from them instead of trying to see the truth. OK. There's a major difference between male brains and female brains. And as as Anton was sitting up here saying, it's justified that we have laws for men because of the toxic or the egregious things that go through men's minds. What does this doctor now say? It's their brains are so much busier than male brains and generally they're healthier because they have more estrogen and they don't do quite the toxic things that male brains do. Is that? They don't do quite the toxic things that male brains do. Male brains do toxic things, which is the reason why laws are created for men. That's why religion was created for men. That's that's where you were born into sin come from. It was talking about the male. 
And that's why Jesus is depicted as a man so that men could look up to a person or what they thought was a person that was perfect so that they could have some type of governing control over their toxic ass nature. But y'all steady trying to fight the truth because you want somebody to validate you. And then you'll go after other women because you want to be validated by a male. Y'all cannot win this shit with me. You might as well stop. You might as well just hug your mouth. <laughs> hug your mouth. I'm going to find Flint Flossy and play that. Hug because your they mouth. can develop a consequence, things like that. They, they can understand consequence more than male brain. You know, the development of that thing is all part of it. Is so that, the prefrontal cortex. Right. Their prefrontal cortex was way more active. Right. Which actually, why females make good leaders, their executive brain, their frontal lobes, mm. much more active than male brains. So they're often better at forethought, decision making, and collaboration, mm. and empathy. And guys struggle with that. And then guys struggle with all of this stuff he said that women's brains are practically wired to do i told y'all leadership was came out the nature of a woman leadership traits and characteristics came out the nature of a woman all of this stuff empathy and everything males st struggle with that stuff because it ain't natural to them y'all ain't gonna win this shit with me you just arguing to be arguing right you just using me for clout at this point because y'all don't have a leg to stand on. You had a lot of soccer balls with your head. You really struggle right. with it. Not consciously. Do you see a difference between the female? Yeah. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. So, let... let Let's keep on. Let's keep on looking. Hold on. Let me find. Let me find Flint Flossy. Cause I, I, I got. I got. I got to play. I got to play Flint Flossy. Hold your mouth. <laughs> Let's see if it's up here. Google <laughs> Flint Flossy. Flint Flossy. Hold your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> here, here go Flint Flossy. Then what I want y'all to do right here. Baby, won't you show your mouth? Show your mouth. Baby, won't you hug? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Baby, won't you show your mouth? Hug your mouth. Hold on. We got... <laughs> what is this? Hold on. Hold on. Baby, won't you show your mouth? Show your mouth. Baby, won't you hug your mouth? Hug your mouth. Baby, won't you just keep quiet and let me speak my piece? <laughs> uh, uh, baby, won't you show your mouth? Show your mouth. Baby, baby won't you hug your mouth? Hug your, your mouth. mouth. <laughs> baby, won't you just be quiet yeah. and let me speak <laughs> my piece? Plant Flossy. Uh, <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, Girl, shut your mouth. Shut your Honey, baby, baby, hug your mouth. I hey. want y'all to shut your mouth. I want you to hug your mouth. Because y'all ain't got a goddamn leg to stand on with the queen maker. I'm telling you. I, baby, won't you shut your mouth? Shut your mouth. Baby, won't you hug your mouth? Hug your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hug your mouth. <laughs> y'all ain't got a leg to stand on, goddammit. I'm telling you. <laughs> Yeah, they finna go, boy, the man finna, finna, they finna go in the corner and cry tonight. They finna cry. You finna cry too, B. Taylor? No, I'm good. <laughs> you sure? I'm good. <laughs> they don't even know. We good. Okay. All right. <laughs> I keep telling you. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Back to the regularly scheduled program. I'm ready. Yeah, that's your, your trying to okay. put that off on women. Yeah. Really, like, what on women? It's, it's crazy. <laughs> no, we good. Look, look, but wait, okay. you gotta, you gotta, right. you gotta yeah, stop tapping because he like <laughs> this shit is serious. Okay, here we go. When wait, I was in high school, wait, 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 wait
I'm ready. Niggas was coming at bitch in Chevy and Paula's on 26s. Oh, that's your yeah, yeah. picking up bitch. Okay. Everybody, like I said, when, if you want to talk about it, then that perspective is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Principals knew about it. But what you just know about it, that's not Paris. Because he's like, next door neighbor. This shit is sick. Chick that went out. When I was in high school, wait, 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 we knew the nigga. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, wait. We knew the niggas was twenty six, but you know what? It's something that we, especially in the black community, we condone that. And if everybody yeah. on this panel, if everybody on this panel is real, wait, don't say this. Was saying, this was was when they was when I was in high school. school. Older niggas was coming up, picking up them bitch. Oh, dealer. That's him. I'm not a nigga. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I got in middle school, I got a fist fight with this girl because I was about to tell on her because she was messing with an older man. And I said, Your man's a rapist because why are you messing with your 14? You, but, but, but no, 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 no. But see, this is, this is the, this is the thing that we highlight. You know what I remember? One of my most interesting things in school that is, that's just fucking normalized. Nobody ever mentioned it. Nobody had a problem with it across the board. I remember when I was watching Juice. You know, with Pac and all of that. And we always celebrate Pac, you know what I'm saying, for his role in the movie. But the one thing that we don't talk about is all of the motherfuckers was in high school and Omar Epps was sleeping with and busting down the an older, older woman. Nigga, yeah, yeah, you yeah. talking about a movie? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm trying to tell you is that that shit is normal. He trying to let you know it's normal. It's normal. I don't want you to hear they letting you know it's normal, right? This, the, 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 so, <laughs> oh baby, Priscilla and Priscilla, baby, what what's the score? Can anybody tell me what's the score? Manosphere to press the Queen Maker. What's the score, y'all? Daryl, Daryl, Daryl Long, <laughs> Daryl Long. Since, since your ass see everything, Daryl, Daryl see everything in here. Daryl, what's the score? Prince sell it to the manosphere. The queen make it to the manosphere. What's the score? <laughs> Probably a hundred to zero. Probably a hundred to goddamn zero. <laughs> yeah, I need that is know. normal. And the reason that we didn't make a problem about it or we don't have no conversation about it, even in a movie, is because that is normalized. We don't have an issue with it. We have an issue when it comes to guys doing it justifiably, but we don't have an issue with it when we see it in movies because it is some shit that play out across the board. This is normal, bro. I'm telling you, when I when we seen that scene in the movie, nobody blinked the eye. Not because, see, if we see some shit happen in the movie, we have a whole dissection and conversation about it if it's on the other side. But that shit is normal. For a dude to be going over a chick, we'd be like, yo, yeah, okay. He about to, he about to get dog. cooked yeah. meals. He about to get that in. That is normal, bro. <laughs> okay. When, 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 so, when, I see, when I seen Minister Society and Kane fucking graduated from high school when he was fucking Jada Pinkett, that shit was normal. That okay. shit is normal in all communities across the board. Uh, no, we don't talk uh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, no, no. Let's be real. We don't talk about that shit because that shit is normal. Why, why everybody want to fight him on the truth? Why is everybody trying to fight him on the truth? I'll say for me, I was saying that shit ain't normal for me because I ain't grow up seeing that. So he was trying to, when he was speaking, he wasn't specifically saying, men, y'all know this is normal. He was saying, y'all all know this is normal. So I think other people was like, that shit wasn't normal where I grew up at. I didn't grow up seeing that. Well, also, here's, here's the thing. You also said you wasn't allowed to hang around boys. And so it's a lot of stuff that you don't know. So you might have not saw it, but that don't mean that it wasn't happening, right? In, in the right. area that you was in. So, you know, that's just, so sheltered people really don't have nothing to say because it's a lot of stuff that go on that you are sheltered from, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's just, you know, but Anton sitting up here letting y'all know, and it is in the movies, right? Art imitates life. Art imitates life, not the other way around, sugar. You don't think that it had anything to do with like the certain community? Nope. Like that that happens in? Nope. <clears throat> mm -mm. Mm. Nope. It happens everywhere. 
all yeah. ethnic all ethnic groups. It happened everywhere. Guys in our community. See, logic only want to have smoke for the gas, but he. We ain't talking about right and wrong. This is the problem where y'all get into your feelings. It don't make it right. Who's talking about right and wrong? Nobody. We talking about what is. That's the thing. Y'all can't get, y'all can't understand a conversation based on what is, based on what you feel is acceptable or not acceptable. That's what's acceptable, not acceptable, right and wrong, ain't the conversation here. It's what's happening. Oh, damn. Shit. Oh. I gotta... How the hell? Hurry your mouth. Baby, won't you hurry your mouth? Hurry your mouth. <laughs> you know what? It's weird. I gotta watch it from... A different screen because I can't see what you see. What? Oh, you I can't. See, you I can know, only just see you. Yeah, of course. You know, you can't see. You have to. You, if you want to see this, you're gonna have to pull up the phone. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 you gonna. I'm yeah. Looking, yeah, I'm just you just need to stop that. watching the comments and letting people. Get <laughs> okay. and graduated from high school when he was fucking Jada Pinkett. That shit was normal. That okay. shit is normal in all communities across the board. No, we don't talk about, no, 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 no. Let's be real. We don't talk about that shit because that shit is normalized in our community. See, logic only want to have smoke for the gas, but he don't no. want to put people across the board. I knew plenty of dudes that was fucking chicks that was significantly older than them, and they was, I was fuck. Man, let me be quiet, bro. <laughs> yeah, you need to, because you tapping. You know damn well you didn't see no goddamn chick pull up in a BMW to pick up some snot and old 16 year old. That's the nigga, movie. Nigga, hold on. Let's be clear, because my story is verified. My mom came on here. My, my bitch was pit pulling up in a fucking Jeep. See, this is the part where people want to try to play dumb. The fact of the matter is, is this is all over this is all over like forms this is all over forms people saying this everywhere and he's right y'all don't talk about it y'all don't talk about it but it's happening yeah it is and new she had her own crib nigga <laughs> what you talking about that, no. my, that was my wife so, nigga so, from, from so, the, so, from so, the yeah, very good. beginning listen listen from the very beginning it was a bunch of us that had older chicks that was getting money. As a matter of fact, in Detroit, what it is that what we knew was that when you get a when you get a Southfield, West Bloomfield, or a Lathrop chick, Lathrop chick, it was largely understood them chicks, them chicks' parents had money. All of us had them. All of us had them. Now we're not. That, that wasn't nothing new. That was that was normalized in our community. Are not that girl. She may be, have been that girl in your eyes. It wasn't new. Was not that girl. If she was that girl, she'll be messing with a grown man that could do something for her. Not no, no we before. did everything we needed to do for. No, you would to do. Get we did everything we needed to do for. Her. Her. And, she, and I guarantee you, I That's guarantee you, you she can't unsee me. That's it. You couldn't give her nothing. She else. could. She couldn't. She can't unsee me to today. I, I tell her, was that chick in a wheelchair? That's sad. That's no, sad. nigga. That's you know, you know what it is. That's a fact, though. Well, and, and, and like I said, just just because y'all don't talk about it, don't mean it ain't real. That shit is normal, and that's why when we see it in the movies, that's why when we see it in the movies, when we see it in the movies, we don't even blink an eye about it because. It so everybody got all this stuff to say, but they know he telling the truth. They know he telling the truth. He ain't said nothing that wasn't true. He ain't said nothing that wasn't true. It's normal. No, it ain't yeah. normal. Well, Ed, everybody on this panel said they can remember real life examples of guys coming to their schools. I didn't say that. Yeah. What? Because you you use in Oklahoma, nigga. You don't count. <laughs> God damn! I guess, <laughs> look, guys coming to their schools. So now, for you to have to go to the movies to make an example. It further proved the point, bro. I look. I, I, I don't want to go to the movies, and I just gave you a real life example, bro. Look, I'm just that don't saying. count. That don't count. No, 
It don't. Okay. You can be saying anything. Any woman messing with a boy ain't got shit to give. I'm sorry. And I'm not and down that it happens. happens. To show she ain't got shit to give. She still. What the fuck y'all talking about? Y'all be y'all be fucking with grown men that ain't got shit to no, give. No, I never mess with a grown ass. I never mess with a grown ass. Ever. Ever. What about you? Free. 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 I, ain't even I don't think we're gonna agree on this. <laughs> hey, y'all remember that movie Juice? And you remember Q was fucking with that older girl? <laughs> oh, I was like, Weird. no, I'm doing it with with <laughs> in there and all of the rest of the chicks. I'm so let let me see. Okay, so they so let's check let's check out the timestamps. Okay, because I just you know that's a that's a that that was a long. This is a long conversation. Of course, we're not going to get through all that. Conversations. Yeah. So let's see. Okay. We we went through a lot of this, actually. I feel like okay. we should definitely cover the one that I had did a review on, where I feel like that's when they was, oh, well, they came to me a few times on there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we are up to 45 minutes. Okay. So... Anton, we're going to jump to, um, Anton says American women give up sex for nothing. Let's go to 54, 52, 54, 52. I seriously believe that y'all got high price pussy over here. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that. Honestly, the women over there might be easier to deal with because they can fucking they shut up or they'll go. Here it's a little different. Come on, we see it every day. These women, these women on Instagram, like if you don't, if you don't uh make six figures, if you don't buy me a purse, it's if you don't uh, Listen, listen, listen. Those are those, those are the chicks that though. talking it's, on I the internet. I don't, I don't understand. They should they be talking on the internet and they spewing the narrative of what they want. What you want. Y'all don't think that these chicks is fucking? Who y'all think they fucking? Y'all think that they let's fucking? Add, do let's ask the just... single men. Are these chicks fucking for free? Keon, Quentin, Logic, Green. Yes. I don't yeah. pay for shit. I'll pay. I'll get you some. I'll, 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 I'll pay. I'll give you a thirty dollars chill and dinner. He said, "I want to ask the men, and I see all of these women, these hyenas. We can't confirm what kind of women they fucking on. We can't. Wait, 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 wait. I pulled up with my women in person, and they fuck for free. Yeah, what they look like? Exactly. Yeah, how y'all look? I want y'all, how y'all look by a dude saying he do you for free, right? Right? How you think you look by the dude saying he do you for free? Mm. Well, they tell us later. Mm -hmm. They tell well, us later. Well, that's why, that's why y'all need to get the book 41 Shades of Men, and then you won't be on the back end of their game. See, you won't be on the back end of their game if you just get the 41 shades of men i'm showing y'all that i clearly hear something that y'all don't hear right i clearly know something that y'all don't know because see this ain't new to me all they doing is speaking for me <laughs> this new to y'all though right and this is how y'all end up getting used abused and then they gaslight you and say you chose the wrong one you wasted all your years because you chose the wrong man baby 95 mm -hmm. 90 98 percent of these motherfuckers the wrong man what is you what, what we even talk about 98 percent of them the wrong one it don't look like me baby it don't look like you baby it look like you baby no, you're going a little too far. She's not ugly. That, that don't have nothing to do with it. She not. She not, she not that ugly. But my point is, is that they look just fucking. They look just like you, B. Taylor. What are you talking about? What you mean? They take the same type of pictures as you. Let me pull up your Instagram. Look at my Instagram. Look at this body, baby. Go ahead. They look just like you. Is what I'm saying. Look at that. If that's the case, why are these passport bros going overseas then? Hold on, hold on. Let's they be for curious, real. nigga. They want to know what the other stuff tastes let's, like. Let's be for real, Q. Q. We, me and you have been out and hung out plenty of times. Mm -hmm. you, we know it's not hard. It's mm -hmm. really not. 
It's not hard. Like, it's, it's not, not hard for you. you. you don't, you don't, a lot wait, of wait, men wait, don't wait. have I, communication skills. You don't skills. even have to approach them. I went to your city. Mm -hmm. The first time that I kicked it with you in your city. That white I lady. Never, I never <laughs> even approached her at all. She that walked up lady. to she walked up to me. That white lady was what out of there. What makes y'all think that? No, the black chick, not the white lady. What oh, makes this chick. What makes y'all think that these women are so high priced? They not. It's and 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 why y'all? How's y'all price so low, ladies? Because you're a pick me. You need male validation so much that you lower your value by approaching men, begging for their attention, and just needing them to hear you. <laughs> Y'all want to be seen by men. You want to be heard by men. You want their approval. For what? For what? And then they get here and let you know that what make you think your value so high? Y'all approaching us. Y'all approaching us. I just I want I just want y'all to see. I want y'all to see how y'all have been, how your beliefs about men and relationships have led you into the lion's den to get your to get used, abused, and then gaslit after the after you after they do it. Right? And they and here's the thing. This is the reason why, again, they think y'all are dumb. Because they are saying this to your face they're telling you to your face they put it in the music they tell you to your face they say it on the podcast and y'all still chase them this is why they have no respect for you because why should they have respect for you their highest biological goal is sex they they operate in power and ego and y'all stroke their ego for nothing. You have sex with them for nothing. You go to their platforms and listen to them for nothing. They can talk to you like shit and you still go and give them the energy. And then they tell you your value ain't shit and y'all still keep approaching them. What exactly? Be oh, and, and y'all do this. Because you're trying to make them think and behave like women. So you think that you can deal with a man like you would deal with a woman. <laughs> and you keep losing. Right? And everybody out here want to say that Princella the one tripping. No, sweetheart. Y'all, all y'all are the ones tripping. Y'all the ones tripping. Not me. Because I hear them. I hear them. I see them. Y'all, all the people that's that's anti me, all of the mammy, the whole mammosphere, all the pick me's that's anti me, y'all the crazy ones. Not me. Not me. Right? This, this one of the this this one of the big heads. This one of the big wigs in in the manosphere, right? Oh, so now it's just gonna be that's just Anton. That ain't that's you. You went and got somebody. Oh no no no! Cause they said I need to get somebody that married. There we go, right there. <laughs> Baby, y'all on the manosphere is on life support. When I say mm. they, it's on life support, it's on motherfucking life support. Now, what side you on, B Taylor? You wanna go running back to the lion's den to a bunch of people who let you know they don't care about you and they telling you who they are? You want you wanna stay over there or you wanna stay with your kind? I'm staying on my side. I'm staying on my side. Mm -hmm. Where it's safe. Yeah. Where it is. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't let them don't let them use your beauty for the sick little games over here right why don't you why don't you capitalize on your own beauty why don't you use your own beauty mm. hmm? why are you giving it to people who just want to suck it dry they don't mean you no good right oh how you gonna listen to that lesbian this the queen faker, the queer maker, the queer maker. She she dirty macking. That 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 what you gonna say next, huh? Y'all gonna say y'all gonna say the queen maker dirty macking, huh? Yeah, what you that what you gonna call it, huh? Cause y'all calling it all kind of shit. Maybe but they just treated me like shit over there. So like, it's like the men seem like they hate me. I'm not talking about just all the men on the panel, but I'm just saying just the audience. 
if I go back and look, and yeah, you say don't care, but you can't help but to just see negativity over. It's not like a few. It's like damn, like they're going. Baby, do you see how many people talking shit about me <laughs> all over the internet? <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> asked you how you handle that. Right, cause... and let, let me show you how I handle it. Let me show you how I handle it. Let me see. Let me see that body. Come on, let me see that body. Let me show you how I handle it. Oh shit, girl, girl, how much? <laughs> you see? Yeah, 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 baby. Yeah, let me show you. That's how I handle it. That's right. That's how, that's how I handle it. That's how I handle it. Yeah. Shit. How much you want? Right? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let so, so let me take let me take you out to lunch, B Taylor, and let me just wipe all your tears away, and you don't have to worry about that. What kind of drink you like? <laughs> what you like? <laughs> I like wine. I like a margarita. Okay. I like a, a martini. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, let 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 the let the little dollar bills just uh wipe your little tears away. Yeah, fan. There you go. Just fan, fan with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, fuck what they talking about. Fuck what the hell they talking about. They just lost a. Listen, the manifest just lost a dime. They just lost a dime piece. They sure did. They lost a dime piece, baby. Y'all gonna y'all gonna have a bunch of motherfucking uh. Uh, bearded booties over there. Y'all gonna keep on playing. Y'all losing all the damn women because <laughs> you want to mistreat them. You want to dog them. You want to use them uh, to drag them across the mud and let them know that you don't care about them. That <laughs> right, baby? Go where you appreciate it, not where you tolerate it, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, I got you, baby. Don't worry about it. I got you. The queen maker. The queen maker love you, baby. She belong to me now, y'all. <laughs> she belong to me now. She belong to the queen maker now. <laughs> you done ran off. <laughs> you done ran off trying to abuse these women huh <laughs> they gonna get tired of y'all abusing them one day they gonna get tired mm -hmm. all right let's go ahead and then we're gonna get ready to we're gonna try to wrap this up here um <laughs> i want to get to the part where they were trying to talk about women i mean it's up to you where they were trying to say what's your value what do you bring to a yeah man? yeah 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 what what time stamp is that hold on let me okay what time stamp is that um, and tells the wife speak it. Anton tells his wife to speak up as if she was a child. Oh, I gotta hear that. I gotta hear Ooh. that. Hold on. What is that noise? Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, let's see. Men have to afford a certain type of woman. Anton asks, "What makes us good?" Okay. One hour and nineteen minutes. Let's go here. Let's hear. Th let's go here. This. Okay. I'm gonna marry a specific type of guy, then I'll start to believe y'all, and I'll start to substantiate y'all argument a little bit differently. But while I still still see people talking about what they want, not necessarily what they got, it changes the argument for me one hundred percent. So Anton, do you think that Coco should have been with a guy of less value based on her past? I think that Coco should go with the fuck, go with whatever it is no, that she, she can Coco. get. I'm just using her example. Like we, we okay. dated guys that are beneath us. So now that we know we worthy, we we know our standards, but since but we what, have- Okay, but what I'm asking is, and I'm asking the rest of the women on the panel, if they want to answer, what makes y'all worthy? Mm. What makes y'all worthy, right? Let me, let me, before we, listen, y'all don't answer this question. You don't sell yourself to a man. You don't sell yourself to no man. This is a question that your ass ain't supposed to answer. If he don't see no value in you, then oh well, he don't see no value in you and it ain't for you to sell him a damn thing, right? Let him go find a dodo bird who want to sell herself to him. Well, I can do this. I can do that. I can't do shit for you. I'm going to just let you know. I don't, I can't do nothing for you. Not a goddamn thing. I don't hear nothing. Cricket. Mm. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. All I'm asking is, <laughs> see, if you ask a man what makes him worthy, he can substantiate that. I'm asking y'all what makes y'all worthy. 
Anybody can answer. Oh, like personally? Well, wouldn't wouldn't the man know what makes us worthy that we're talking to? No, no, no. What makes y'all worthy of a great man? I always say I know my worth. What what is it? Of a great you said what? Of a great man, of the man that y'all say that y'all. I think it's it's my. What makes y'all worthy of this man? What makes y'all worthy? No baggage. I think I think it's my character. I think it has to do with my personality. I think it. As soon as you start, as soon as you start doing that, you take a L. As soon as you start doing that, Miss Allen Gal, you take an L, right? Why are y'all selling y'all self to men and telling them? And here's the thing. It's even more of an L because Anton is the one that just said to the little white chicks, do you think men care about what you think, feel, or even want? We slot women based on what we need them for. We don't care about your feelings. Right? And now here you go trying to sell yourself to a person who don't give a damn. Do y'all even know or pay attention to the person who's running the panel? You don't answer no question like that, that he asked you. If Anton asks you what you bring to the table, you don't tell him a goddamn thing. Oh, you'll be proud of my response then. Mm-hmm. You don't tell him shit. You know, you, <laughs> what I'm, what, what I'm, what, what I'm telling you, what I'm working, boy, bye, like, boy, bye. Am I going to explain, like, who the, do you going to be proud of my response? Like I said, we're going to, we're going to get that. <laughs> mm -hmm. It has to, what I can offer to the man in multiple ways. It's just, it's just something that I would have to show. I can't just talk about. Basically. So that's what make y'all worthy? Well, no, I say, I didn't say, y'all, I'm speaking for me. I can only speak for me. Anybody else is more than welcome to answer also. Hey, y'all. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. what up, Jess? Hey, hey. Um, so for me, I'll say I had to really take the time to heal. And I had to figure out <laughs> who Jasmine was before I could enter into another relationship. Because I entertained foolishness for quite some time. But it was also because I was a part of the problem. So I took the time to heal. I took the time to address my trauma. I took the time to confront father. Now she she don't know that Anton don't give a damn, right? <laughs> she don't know. And look, but here's the thing. Nobody's you paying. Know. You see. You no, see. No, I don't got to see. I'm looking at him right now. Look at his body language. Look at his eyes. This is exactly how he was when he was talking to the, little, the two little white chicks, right? Hey, he didn't want to hear from her. He wanted to hear from B. Taylor. I know he want to hear from you. You, you the sexiest one on the damn panel. Not to saying that they ain't cute, but they are. But the fact of the matter is, everybody want to fuck you. That's just let's just keep it a buck. Everybody wants to fuck you. Okay. Mm. That's just I think the bottom. As an example, the baby mama. Yes, because that you for me to say something like, "Oh, the baby mama gonna speak about the, what she deserves." Yeah. Well, <laughs> what no, you? it ain't got nothing to do with that. You are Ooh. attractive, and mm. everybody wants to fuck you. So, mm. because you are as attractive as you are, they're looking for any opportunity to beat you down to bring you down off the high horse that they even think you're on. Your mm. appearance is so attractive that they have to bring you down. So it don't matter what you say. It doesn't matter how you present yourself. That's an opportunity for them to beat your self confidence down because they all want you. That's just the bottom line. That's how they think. So, no, he don't want to hear from no woman. He don't want to hear from none of these. He don't give a damn, right? But he definitely want to drag you across the concrete. Their wounds and mommy wounds. I've taken the time to grow in my spiritual walk so I know how to pray for a man, for, so I know how to cover him when he's struggling. Baby girl, he ain't listening to none of that shit you talking about. 
Look, 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 he, Jasmine, he not listening to that shit you talking about. Look at his face. Look at his face. He is rolling his eyes behind these damn glasses, right? And he wants you to hurry up and stop talking, right? And and women yeah. and and women be saying what they think men want to hear. Oh, mm. I, I'll pray for him. Baby girl, are you going to suck his dick? Hmm. Are you gonna are you gonna suck his dick and are you gonna cook for him and are you gonna shut your motherfucking mouth? That that that, that, that that's that, all they care about. That, that, listen, listen, and, and and women taking L after L after L, right? Trying to prove something and trying to get validation from these these nobodies. I don't care how much money they got, they still nobodies. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> So I know how to watch his six when he's in business deals so I can keep an eye on, you know, take it. Listen, I'm telling you, all men here at this point is one, one, one. What, then what they hear i'm telling you i am i am the man whisperer baby i am the man whisperer you know you got the dog whisperer i'm the man whisperer i'm telling you what they hearing right now as she talking is one 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 i swear to god <laughs> care of the home help and raise the family I'm really becoming a woman. And look, 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 really look, 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 look at Mr. Logic. Look, he look, 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 he gone. <laughs> Listen, she talking. <laughs> Mr. Logic over there. He done went to outer space somewhere. <laughs> look, 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 go back. 21. Y'all wasting y'all goddamn energy talking to these men. Y'all don't even know. And then you wonder why you look, you look 50 when you're 35. Because this <laughs> Look, this why. <laughs> Look at logic. Look at logic. And he's in business deals, so I can keep an eye on, you know, taking care of the home, helping Look. raise the family. I'm really becoming a woman and trying to really understand and gauge <laughs> what my man is. <laughs> Baby, y'all killing them. Baby, they hear, listen, they hear dogs barking and cats scratching on the doggone chalkboard as y'all just go on and on and on and on. This is this why they be like, oh, bitch, shut up. This, this them. And y'all ain't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to. These niggas do not want to hear y'all talking. <laughs> look, look at Quentin. Look at Quentin. Look at his hands. He's like, oh, bitch, shut up. <laughs> look, Quentin, like, bitch, please be quiet. <laughs> Logic, like, God damn, bitch. <laughs> Anton, Anton, and I already told you, bitch, do you think we give a fuck what y'all think and feel and want? <laughs> Priscilla just hate men. <laughs> no, bitch, you just delusional, bitch. You just delusional. <laughs> oh my oh. god! <laughs> and, and Steph, and Steph up there looking like ludicrous back in two thousand four. Oh my Listen, god! He it, look like it, look yeah, Luda, Luda. <laughs> yeah, he finna drop a mixtape. <laughs> And poor little Jasmine just pouring her whole heart out. But she just pour, I'm gonna get I'm gonna cover his six. I'ma do all his business deals. I'ma pray for him. And they like, bitch, shut up. Come on, dog. <laughs> need from me um really taking the time to look 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 Steph he looking Luda he looking down he look 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 at his mouth look both him and logic they tired of hearing her talk look at their mouth look they holding they fucking lips look they like mm. <laughs> and Quentin he like oh <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't understand men. Y'all do not understand men. Y'all ain't been paying attention. I've been paying attention to these niggas. 
<laughs> oh my god, that is hilarious. Let go of my selfish, <laughs> my selfish, my look, selfish. Look. <laughs> Y'all got to look at logic. Y'all really got to look at logic as she talk. I got to go back to the beginning of her talking. We just got to look at each one of them as she talking. So, look, I'm finna I'm finna go back to 21 even and y'all just look at logic the whole time. Then we go come back and we going to look at Quentin the whole time. Then we going to come back and look at Steph the whole time. Look at them. <laughs> look. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> For quite some time, but it was also because I was a part of the problem. So I took the time to heal. I took the time to address my trauma. I took the time to confront father wounds and mommy wounds. I've taken the Look, time to put his hands over his face. grow in my spiritual walk. So I know how to pray for a man. For, so I know how to cover him when he's struggling. So I know how to watch his six when he's in business deals so I can keep an eye on, you know, taking care of the home, helping raise the family, um, really <laughs> becoming a woman and trying to really understand and gauge what my man is going to need from me. Um, really taking the time to let go of my selfish, <laughs> my selfish, my selfish ways, my instant working on my insecurities. Um, what else? I mean, I could keep going, but that's just the. <laughs> they like no, please, wait, no, please, no, no. <laughs> wait. The way Logic just yawned so, so big, like his yawn was so big. And watch what Anton says after she says what she said. <laughs> he was waiting for her to stop talking so he could say this. Brie Taylor, would you like to answer the question? Look, he skipped right. Listen, they skipped right, skipped right by. Listen, all of them, all the men, they all was like, <laughs> and and here's ladies. Hey, uh, B. Taylor, did you have something to say? <laughs> ladies, we need some entertainment. Listen, and this is what y'all. This is why y'all ass is old as fuck. Because y'all are literally draining your energy. Look at them. Look, they eyes closed. Look, look at Logic and Steph and look at Quentin. Look at them. Boy, listen, y'all sit up here and pull y'all heart out to motherfuckers who ain't even trying to hear you, dog. They don't care. They don't care. <laughs> You're not even unmuted. You're muted. You are You're muted. muted. You she cussing me out without the microphone on. <laughs> go, go ahead, B Taylor. But also just learning how to be. That's how she went from that. But I could keep. Dang, she went. She kept going. <laughs> oh, no. no, no, no. I felt like I said. I felt like there was some shade there, and it could just be me because I felt like she felt some type of way that as soon as she stopped, she didn't get no feedback. Nobody responded. Nobody said that it's straight up. B Taylor got something to say. I was trying to talk. My mic was muted and I was going off a little bit. I was saying something snarky. And then he and then they're like, oh, your mic's unmuted. As soon as I unmute is about to speak, she jumps in. Well, let me add in some more. <laughs> I'm like, what? And oh, then dang. she goes, then the shade was, I'll let somebody else speak. I'm like, well, my name was called, so. <laughs> yeah, look, and look, logic mouth wide open, yawning. Look, we, we paused it. <laughs> We pause it at the right time. He just, oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, what the? I'm trying to find out what the hell do they really think they can debate me on? I, 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 I really want to know exactly what the hell do people think they can debate me on? Because what I'm saying is not up for damn debate. What, what, what are we even talking about? <laughs> Y'all be in agreement more than anything. Yeah, th they would just be arguing with me for argument's sake at this point. Argument's sake, right? Because ain't, 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 ain't shit to talk about. <laughs> ain't nothing to talk about, okay? <laughs> Boy, I'm tearing their, ooh, I'm tearing their ass up tonight. Ooh. Okay. Did, did you expect this? 
B. Taylor, did you expect this? Not. See, I told you all you had to do was just sit here and look pretty. Let me do the, let me do the dirty work, mama. <laughs> girl, let me do the dirty work. Wait, look at my part, because look at my response. I'm just. Go, oh, yeah, no, girl, you, yeah, you good, girl, you good. Shit, you doing exactly, <laughs> shit. I think everybody in the motherfucking comments think you fine as a motherfucker. So, listen, you just sit there and you look pretty, mama. You let me, let you let me do the dirty work. Let me, let me handle these motherfuckers. Let me handle them. <laughs> Uh, oh shit <laughs> going but I'll let somebody else speak but that's just for me I speak for myself I want to yield the floor to B. Taylor real quick <laughs> maybe that wasn't meant for me to say that I'm gonna just go ahead <laughs> Cause you're right. You're right. I'm gonna just go ahead and say if I'm not, if you're not somebody I'm pursuing, I don't even feel like I have to explain that. You, you, you get to know me. You know what I'm gonna bring in your life. So I think that y'all. I, I don't think that y'all. I don't need to explain myself to these bandits in the the comment section. I don't need to explain myself to the banditas. I don't need to do none of that. So it's like f y'all too. Like I ain't trying to fuck y'all. Anton, Anton, Anton is a he a puppy dog over you. Look, this nigga ain't smiled and laughed the entire fucking time until you start talking. And now you see all these teeth. This nigga want to fuck you so bad. It's so I can see it. This nigga wants to fuck I, 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 you so I, bad. I, I don't want to speak. On that, because he's a married man, I'll just say he finds me interesting. That's I can, I, I can, listen. I read people. He finds I don't. Me interesting I, I don't know what the nigga. Done, listen, <laughs> listen. I don't know what the nigga done said to you. Nothing, but I, I can read people. I'm very good at reading people. And this dude had his hands on his face. He was bored the whole time, not hearing with nobody. <laughs> but as soon as you start talking, this nigga pearly white. This nigga wants to fuck you bad okay and if you gave him a chance he'd be all up in you right no, so, i'm a baby mama priscilla yeah, i'm that, a baby mama that, yeah that, i already want the baby mama yeah that's that's just some shit to, to to make you feel bad to make you uh to make you lower the bar that's all that is fuck all that shit. <laughs> why you cussing Damn. people out ain't nobody even saying nothing negative to you None of y'all. I'm talking about the motherfuckers in the damn the chat. Don't read the chat. I know. <laughs> Look, I say what I said. Listen, I think that y'all women on this panel today, though I appreciate y'all and I love y'all, but y'all are batshit crazy. Y'all are out of y'all minds. Y'all are wild. Honestly, y'all don't think that y'all crazy? <laughs> <laughs> y'all think y'all normal? Yeah, he would be right with that. Y'all asses are crazy. All of y'all on that. He the only one that was saying some shit that was real. So when when you speak the truth, and and people disagree with the truth, and they try to go against the truth, that's what make them bat shit crazy, right? And that's the reason why he's saying that. Everybody on the panel delusional. Everybody on the panel lying and and trying to put he the only one that was up there actually telling the truth. Right? But it makes for great content because he already know that people gonna disagree, right? And just just keep going in this toxic cycle. Right. But yeah, that's what it is. Did you want me to play anything else? But Coco. your 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 response, your response was good. You don't you don't you don't you do not. I had to learn that. I had to learn that because it don't matter what you say, especially me. That's why I feel like they was waiting on it because it was like, ooh, look at this baby mama about to explain what she brings to the table and her her baby kids. Like, you know, like, mm -hmm. so I'm like, uh -uh, I ain't doing that. But I was trying to jump in and say Coco because he asked her some questions and she was like, no, I, okay, girl. And what time so step was that? Anton had to check me because he said I was over talking and I wasn't letting her speak. Okay, one twelve. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to one twelve. That where that's it. One twelve twenty six. Okay. All right. Here we go. 
I already answered, but he was talking. Okay, about good. well, I'm sorry. Fill me back in. I'm sorry. Mm, it's okay. Why, it's why, how did y'all? How did y'all? My bad, Coco. How did y'all? Okay. So, so well, he can answer, I guess, for the, the entire women on the panel. So, so y'all gonna complain, but then y'all not gonna. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, like, dang, like, let us, you know. Okay, go ahead. Hit, I was just the game. Say, my standards haven't always been high. Like, I had to. I worked my way up to. You know, what I'm saying, like, I just kind of learned along the way what I feel like I deserve. Like, some people. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's the way I was raised, but now I know. Like, so yeah, right now you got to. My standards are high. So, so let's let's explore that for a minute. So you said you worked your way up to higher standards. I, used, I done dated. I done dated dudes who had absolutely nothing to offer me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and or to offer themselves. So just off of just straight dumb bullshit. But now it's like you can't get me to do that. Why? But why? Like, how did you then get to a like? What made you get this mindset that? You are at the higher higher end of of requirements for what a guy should offer you. Uh, wait, say it again. I'm sorry. Like, how did you grow? How did you blow up to the greater guy? Like, how did that work? Like, what, I mean, what, what, what made you say one day, you know what, I deserve better than that? Because I mean, I guess you you had to be you had to be there. It was straight. It was okay. straight. It was so crazy. Let, me, let me ask you another. Let me ask you differently. Then. Okay. Um, you said you dated guys that didn't that couldn't offer you shit, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to answer this next question. Did y'all have sex? Yeah. Okay, so cool. Now, if the dude that didn't have shit hit, why should the dude got every fucking thing take the same thing that the guy that didn't have shit already got? Okay, so again fundamentally males and females are different the male's ultimate biological goal is sex and that's it he don't have no higher <clears throat> he doesn't go into the higher self he's capped at six so everything that he thinks of and see in the way he sees the world is based on sex so if in his eyes <clears throat> the, the men know that they have to do something for sex they know that y'all have the power to choose so they don't understand why y'all choose the men that you choose but typically when you choose these dudes they don't have anything and so the guy that ends up having to get everything, they all wonder why you choose ain't shit dudes who don't have to do anything and then you want them to do something. Then that only fuels the, in the other incels to be angry because they knew that the guy that you chose wasn't shit. Because men know each other. So they know that the guy that you actually chose ain't shit. So they wonder why, well, it, why did you choose him and not me? Because he the same as me. This is how they say, he's exactly like me. He be doing the same shit I do. But you chose him, right? So their ultimate biological goal is sex. That's what they value. So the question is, if you letting a broke nigga hit, if you letting a, a criminal hit, if you letting all these other motherfuckers hit, then why can't he hit? Why, why I got to have all this stuff to hit and these other motherfuckers can be worthless in hit. This is how they think. <clears throat> but y'all want them to see stuff that they ain't capable of seeing. You want them to behave in a way that they're not capable of behaving. The male is not a woman. Y'all want, y'all want males to have, to be women. That's pretty much it. Everything that you looking for in a man is a woman. Cause y'all don't really like men. Because if you did, y'all would, y'all would accept what they're telling you and roll with the plan and stop trying to change them. But y'all get with these dudes with the intent to change them, to force them to have the character traits that women possess. Because y'all don't like this stuff that y'all sitting up here hearing them say. Nope. You don't like it. 
But this is men. This is men. Y'all don't like men. You think you like men because you like the idea of fucking them. But then when that's <laughs> over, you try to make them become women. Because you don't really like them. That's, 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 that's Cause she thing. raised her standards and she has every right to raise her standards. Let me do No, 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 no. Cause what y'all not gonna do is that that she lowered her standards for one. I said first of all, first of all, first, 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 first. Hold on, be Taylor. Hold on, be Taylor. No, I, I am creating a safe space. The first thing that I said to her is she don't have to answer nothing that she don't want to answer. She a grown woman, just the same way that you stop Steph. From being able to over talk, I'm gonna need you to stop talking. Well, so she she can, I'm gonna need say, you to so stop so she can saying, she can I'm speak for herself. She is a grown woman. Okay, she is a grown woman, and she said she didn't have nothing to say about it. So I'm jumping in and that's saying not, that's not what she said. That's not what she said. Well. So I commend you for for trying to to stand up for this woman who can't stand up for herself because mm -hmm. she's not about to stand up for herself. Right. These women yeah. don't know how to stand up to the, for themselves. They don't know how to respond to somebody like Anton. The, the response to this is real simple. But the woman, the, most women don't know how to, to respond to these dudes because they have been conditioned to follow these dudes like they're leaders or something to worship these dudes. They don't know how to talk to them. They don't know how to deal with it. So she not finna, she's actually going to let him run her slap over when she should have stood up for herself. But hold on, here you go. No, 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 no. What I'm asking is if the guy that didn't have shit qualified to get everything from you, why should the guy that got everything already then settle for the same thing that the guy that didn't have shit got? You know, B. Taylor, you got to admit, he got a point. Like, no, you have to like a motherfucker right now. He got a point. No, he do not. And then she said she don't know. So I jumped in and said I feel, I, like, I feel like he do got a point. I feel like he do. I feel like there's no way in hell. But thank I you, Coco. See, you see, this is what this is what a woman who is seeking male validation would say. She devalues herself. And lets him devalue her. I feel like he does have a point. In the male's world, he does have a point. In a woman's world, he don't have a point. I'll tell you why. Because everybody, right? Everybody lives in this life to grow and to learn. And since we all in this world and um, practically ignorant, we grow up and we make mistakes. And when you want better for yourself, is because you provide better for yourself. And if a person wants to be in your space, then he will come up to your level. And if he don't, he can go on somewhere because I deserve everything that I want because I provide it for myself. And I'm not going to let nobody come in and offer me less than what I'm giving to myself. So if you don't want it, you ain't got to have it because I don't need you or want you any damn way. Right. I don't, I'm not for sale for you. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you want my space, if you want to be in my space, you go meet my price. You're going to meet my price. I'm not coming down to you, right? And you ain't got to be here because there's plenty of other dodo birds that'll sit up here and let you run slap over them. If you don't have no boundaries and you don't have no standards, that's on you. But it don't matter how old I get. It don't matter who I dealt with when I was younger and didn't know no better, right? Hey, I provide the life I want for me now. And I'm not asking you to provide me shit. But if you're going to be here, damn it, you coming to my level, period. Mm -hmm. It's it's really it's really that goddamn simple. You don't and owe also, nobody no explanation. Right. And I also advise and I made a video about this in more in depth, but I advise women stop telling men about your past because men seek other men validation. They'll treat you how the last man treated you. Like so if you go to a man and say, he used to beat on me, he used to cheat on me, and I did this and did this and I stayed and loved on him, he's gonna be like, Well, if that man didn't value you, I'm going to look at you how that man treated you. Yep. And I'm going to probably do you worse mm -hmm. because that just shows he didn't value you. You ain't worth nothing. Your box probably not that good. You're probably not that amazing. 
You go to a man, they see men spoiling you left and right. Guess what? Even a broke man is going to want to spend some money on you because they know that other men, quote unquote, value you to them. So they're going to value you. So that's why you got you can't be telling these men about your past and past mistakes and what you did. So they just pull out the game. OK, stop telling these men thinking that they're going to treat you better by sharing your past with them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. But the reason why these women do this is because they are unhealed mm -hmm. and they don't value their relationships with women. So they and they think that they're, they're they're supposed to be looking for love in men. So they go and they divulge all of this stuff to one of the 41 shades of men, giving them all of the motherfucking uh locks keys and tools to use them and beat them to the ground women just simply don't know no better and these men know that women don't know no better and this is the reason why they all have an issue with me because they scared that i'm finna teach women better all of these women up here are lost in the sauce None of them knew, including you, but I love you. Okay. You did. You getting better. You get, <laughs> listen, you getting better. You, you got access to me, but the rest of them. Okay. The rest of them, they, they, they lost. They have no idea what they're actually hearing here. They haven't processed it. They just waiting for their turn to talk, right? They not listening and they won't mail validation. I don't go to these platforms looking for male validation. I don't give a damn if y'all like me or not. Okay. <laughs> My goal ain't for you to like me. Right. <laughs> I hope you think, I hope you think I look, look like a male. I hope, <laughs> I, I hope I make your dick soft. Okay. Right. Because my ultimate objective is not to make your dick hard. Okay. <laughs> I, I want to make y'all talk for me. I want to make you talk for me. Right. All that other stuff, I don't care about, right? And then they do the work. They do the dirty work for me. They do all the hard work for me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Thank you, Coco. Can you please, can you please, can you please, can you please elaborate? Now, B. Taylor just now, a terrorist. Now that we've, now that we've established that B. Taylor can speak after you, Coco, oh. can you please elaborate, please? I was just saying, like, you do have a point. I feel like there's no way I should have been dealing with that when you know what i'm saying and then now i want this but shit, that's what i want and that's what i'm getting so i mean that's on them like that's how i mean what you mean that's on them no you get you provide the life that you want and you say what you gonna get you provide the life for yourself and any dude that step to you he either gonna meet your demands because he want to be around you not the other way around and if he don't want to meet him then he can go to somebody else man that motherfucker look really do look like ludicrous every angle that sucker looks like ludicrous. yeah yeah look he, he look like he in the studio too yeah 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 Move, bitch! Get out the way. Yeah, he yeah. got a big following on uh, YouTube, apparently. He oh yeah. Like mm -hmm. Yeah, he probably. Mm -hmm. Coming for me? I'm not coming for them, yeah. but there. But you do have a point, like you do. Why well, should have been? He, he don't have a point, ma'am. Not in, not, not in Damn. your world. Not in your world, mama. Y'all need to realize that. Uh, you run your world, but y'all give y'all power to men. Just you just give it away. Yeah. Looking for them, looking for them. You just want that. You just want their validation for what? For I mean, really, what is it worth? Right? <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all bent over so fast. Y'all let them. Y'all let these men just run y'all slap over. Right? Yeah. Yeah, while when I come, everybody, they, they, they get some sense, right? Because, see, when intelligence walk through the goddamn door, when wisdom walk through the damn door, <laughs> oh, you're going to hush. You're going to be quiet. Y'all let them motherfuckers run y'all smooth over. They ain't going to run me over. Mm -mm. Nope. Appreciate you, Coco, for having a great conversation with me. B. Taylor, would you like to add... Yep. No, I had I said what I needed to say. What did you say? We didn't hear you. Oh. Meow. Hey, what if Coco get baptized and wash her sins? That sucker stay flirting. That sucker stay flirting. Wait, we we forgive her. 
<laughs> I, listen, I think she listen. I think that it's always gonna myself, be a simp. That's not in I think it's always gonna be a simp. It's always gonna yeah. be a dude. I, listen, if you can get him, bag yeah. him. If you I can, if you can, I, I'm not. I don't have nothing to say negative about a woman that wind up getting what it is that she wants. If your preferences is here, then you get you get what it is that you want. God bless you. I'm never gonna shame you as a result of it. Uh, I just want to have you know what that that point was that that point was to see this is where the women not you Coco but B Taylor where y'all like you get you a loose cannon that point he made made absolute sense no, you gave a nigga who was nothing everything but now at some point in time you want to raise your standards see and say well he got to be this and he got to be that you got the right to do that, but also he got the right to say, fuck you. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, th th this is where this is where men have got a whole lot of motherfucking balls and a whole lot of audacity because y'all women made them like this. You, yeah. be, you made them like this because you don't know your value. Y'all chasing these dudes. You steady giving them attention and they really believe that they have the ability to choose women when they don't. Right. You can raise your damn standards anywhere you want to raise them. And when you providing your own happiness in your own life, you ain't stunting none of these dudes. And at the end of the day, People in hell want ice water. If he wants to be in your space, beggars can't be choosers. Most of these dudes are beggars. So if they want to be in your space, they going to pay what you asking. They're going to give you, they're going to pay the attention that you're asking for. They're going to pay the cost to be the boss. They're going to pay. And if they don't pay, then they ain't supposed to be in your face. And it ain't no negotiation. It ain't no negotiation. Because somewhere these stu these guys think that they got, got it like that only because women are desperate and don't know their value, right? Y'all need to stop giving these dudes attention because the, re the reality is a lot of them are afloat because they using y'all. It's always women. <clears throat> See, y'all don't patron each other like that. Y'all go to these dudes' channels and grow they motherfucking shit, right? <laughs> and you let them use you. Fresh and fit. All these women on, they letting these men use them. And then you give them your natural resources and let them talk to you like you ain't shit. You let them talk to you um sideways while they're using you that you don't let that happen you don't let that happen right because you are the value let them have a manosphere channel with nothing but men talking <laughs> let it seriously but y'all pretty selves want to keep going over there to be heard by people who show you listen Anton told you they don't care, that he don't care. He for sure don't care. And men don't care. And then all the men on this panel showed you in their body language that they didn't care what you was talking about. But y'all wasting y'all breath continuously giving all your value to people who letting you know they don't care. So they know that you one don't know your value and you just pissing it away and since they consumers by nature they just go take it all it's like leaving the, it's like leaving the bank open and the vaults open what the hell you think gonna happen hmm? this is what what's gonna happen if you don't lock the doors y'all don't want to y'all don't want to put no locks on your energy and you just freely giving it away to people who don't care about you, who disrespect you. Come on, y'all. 
Hey, and fuck him and move the fuck on. Oh, man. God. Is, y'all yeah. men that go for it simp. Y'all try to shame the men, but then in a, it's a, oh, get what you feel like you deserve. Who, who said who said he a simp? Who said he was a simp? If a woman's not asking what the fuck you was doing in the past fucking grown women, then then who cares? Like who B. Cares? Sailor, if you can get you a guy, if who you can cares? get you a guy that's gonna meet every single preference that you have, God bless him. I don't right. have no problem. He ain't no simp. Okay, cool. Listen, if you can get you a simp, that's gonna need extra every and he expectation. Get treated right every night, period. So y'all care too much about labels. Y'all care too much about name calling and all that. If y'all just break, don't none of that shit mean nothing. Mm. But y'all place so much value on words like simp and alpha. That's all ego shit. That's all ego talk. All right? Who gives a damn how somebody else see you? Who cares? Right? It's It's actually... It's actually a sign of immaturity. People don't know that, but immature people think in ego, which means that the majority of people are immature. The majority of people have not matriculated into manhood and womanhood. Everybody is stuck at an elementary school level mentally. We're literally sitting up here fighting over names. Who give a fuck if a motherfucker call him a simp or whatever? Are you being treated the way you demand to be treated? Right. Well, that's what was my point. I was like, you know, you're trying to shame the men and not being with a woman like me or other women and try to call them sims. And I'm like, you know what? It I, What I'm realizing, men do care what other men think of them. Yeah, because so, they're, like, they're all immature. So they can stop themselves from coming in and doing certain things for women because they don't want to be called a simp. Well, that's like, but here's the her. thing. You that's know, thing. You're you going to get treated right. But here's Darryl the thing. That's care. them. Daryl don't care about being called a simp. He, he, go, he plays into that title. And he and guess what? All mm -hmm. the men come to Daryl's channel because they know that's where all the women at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so here's the thing. <laughs> If you see men go where women go, why do y'all keep voluntarily? Why do you keep volunteering to follow men everywhere? Huh? I, you talking me? I'm talking about women. Just in oh, general. okay. Because I'm invited to these spaces and I try yeah. to run from them and I'm pulled yeah. back in. No, I'm. I'm and just. I'm like, All right, let me give it a try. Let no, me give just... it a try again. You know, let me. You know, there's no beef with nobody. I still don't have no beef with nobody. Like, you know, but yeah, like I don't, I don't, I can't, mentally, and I'm going to say this, I don't care if anybody think I'm weak for it. I just can't take the baby mama bashing stuff. Like I cannot put that in my spirit anymore. Yeah. That's why you don't talk to them because see, they already know that that's a weakness, right? So a lot of these people know that you're sensitive. Okay. <laughs> they know you're sensitive. Okay. Um, and they, they play on that. They play on that sensitivity. And once they know what hurts you, they gonna keep pouncing on that. <clears throat> and yeah. you you can't you when you out here you gotta have thick skin. You gotta have thick skin, on, right? Cause people gonna say all kind of shit about you. They gonna say all kind of shit about you, right? They gonna yeah. they gonna they gonna do some talking tonight too. I hope you ready for it, <laughs> baby girl. I hope you ready for it. They gonna do some talking tonight. <laughs> they gonna do some talking tonight. All right, okay. So just get ready for it. This shit gonna get clipped up all over the place. <laughs> all right. They gonna say you recruited me. Yeah, yeah. They gonna say everything. They they gonna say I'm your pimp. They gonna say every motherfucking thing. <laughs> They they gonna say it all. Oh, Prince the, B Taylor got turned out by the Queen Maker. Okay, and if she did, what what's it to you? <laughs> y'all could have had her, but y'all wanted to beat her up. You wanted to beat her up. Maybe if y'all stop abusing people, maybe they might like you, right? Maybe they might give you a chance. But no, y'all want to be mean to people. You want to beat people down. I ain't gotta beat nobody down. <laughs> I don't have to beat your self esteem down. Right? It don't matter if you got two kids. And you don't look like you got two kids. You look good. Right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you look good. So, 
<laughs> That's all that needs to be said. I don't want nothing from you. I don't want nothing from you, right? But they want something from you. It's an ego boost. It's a trophy. If you, if you, you, the worst, the worst mistake that you could ever make is fucking with any of them. That's the worst mistake that you could ever make, because mm-hmm. it's you're a trophy to them. Who knocked B. Mm. Taylor? Who knocked B. Taylor? You're a trophy to them. So, you know, just stop letting them you stop letting them use you and beat you up when they don't mean you no good. They don't mean you no good. They just want to they just want to see a pretty woman that they can humble and drag drag for everybody to see. Yeah. Mm. You're yeah. Just, you a public you're a public punching bag. That's what you are. Sad. That's yeah. sad. So yeah. to hear other women's perspective on like initially coming into these spaces, the goal was to hear me and understand because I, I don't normally, like I said, I don't know how men think. And to, okay, that's y'all perspective. Here's a perspective from women. And it's like, yeah, it don't matter even if what I say kind of aligns with what they say, they still don't care. It's always an insult. And I'm just like, all right, cool. Yeah, I beef, I beef with more men in this space than anything. Yeah, because, again, they all want to lay you. And you just, it's an opportunity. Well, they didn't ruin all that's that. All right. That's all right. That's all right. She belonged <laughs> to the queen you making now. that by beating down a woman. Yeah. You lift her up. Yeah, no, they 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 too scared about being a simp, hey baby. That's all right. Yeah, they too scared about being a simp. Yeah, that's all right. So let them that, let them be scared. No validation. Let them. Know. Yeah, listen. Let them let them simp for Peter Wacker, cause that's what they gonna simp for. Don't worry about it, cause guess what? The woman is the value. So shit. <laughs> listen, they take the L, and I take I take the gold, baby. <laughs> uh, she belong <laughs> she belong to the queen maker now. <laughs> she belong to the queen maker now. So hey man do better next time you better you better you better look at all of the women you got over there and be like okay i ain't gonna lose this one let you better start giving out motherfucking rewards and trophies and giving out monthly bonuses and shit to all these women right is the ma- <laughs> is the manosphere been llc'd huh have y'all llc this motherfucker y'all better start giving out employee bonuses employee of the month pick me of the month god damn it because that's all that's gonna be over the list to y'all asses Pick me or the goddamn I, I didn't do it with the pygmies for sure. They didn't. Mm-hmm. Dr- d- yeah. Yeah. I shall yeah. say no names. Yeah. Pick <laughs> pick me of the year. <laughs> yeah. That what it is. Pick me of the year. Man me of the year. Because <laughs> that's all that's going to be left over there. Right? Because any woman that got any goddamn sense wouldn't keep believing that old dumb shit. Okay. So. Yes. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. So how Let's you feel? Give your mother. Yeah. How you feel now? Do you feel better? I feel good. I I I appreciate the collaboration. It's our mm-hmm. second collab. Yeah. And this is my first time over here with the what do you call them? Oh, power players. They the power players. The but power players. listen, they they everything. Power players, fire starters, lesbian cult members. Uh what else y'all want to call y'all self? What what else they call us? We the fire starters. Oh, um, the hy- hy- hyena warriors. Yeah. So we got to. Oh, I, like I like the hyena. I've been called the hyena so many yeah. times. I like yeah. that. Hyena warriors. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We got we got a couple names. They didn't call us some everything. So we just we ex- <laughs> we accept all the names. We we accept all of them. We cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah. I went over my. You know, don't beat me up, y'all. I know my perspective is a little different. As Priscilla may say, milk. What is that? Nut milk. Nut on the milk. Brain? Nut milk on the brain. But you know, ha, ha, let me ask you this question. Okay. <laughs> let me ask you this question. Okay. So your nut milk. Okay. When I first talked to you, your nut milk was at like ninety five percent. I had so much nut milk. Yeah, you had like- you had a lot of nut milk up there. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm trying to effectively drain this shit out your system. I'm doing surgical. I'm I'm doing a surgical procedure. Okay, okay. So uh, this your second treatment. Okay, this your second treatment. Uh, where, where where is your nut milk percentage at now? I don't know. Okay, All right. I don't know. I still look. I said it on my page, and they told me about it. I said, okay, I, I may be the Lulu. Okay. I was raised off of Disney. 
<laughs> you want to stay? I was raised off of love stories, Twilight, you know. So, so let me ask you this question. Based on what you heard tonight, do you mm-hmm. still believe in the Disney? You still buying into that? You still no, looking for that? Um, no, no, no. But I think there is a way that once you get this information and actually stop fighting men on what they're saying, like Anton did make a lot of good points because he's speaking the truth. Like he's speaking the truth. And it's just like, yeah, you're right. Like instead of us getting triggered by it and saying like, this sound crazy. That's not da da da. It's like, okay, well, maybe that's how y'all feel. So I need to move a certain way. Any, if that's how y'all look at women, then okay, then I need to start moving in a way where I know I'm coming in a situation genuine. So don't get mad at women when they play the game because y'all, the way y'all think, you got to, or you're going to get eaten alive. You're going to get eaten alive because all I did was come in and just, oh, I want love. I'm being honest. I'm being sincere. I just want to love you and be loved. And you know, you'll get eaten alive that way because there's a lot of liars out there and a lot of men just want you for sex and use you up until they can't use you no more. Some of them want to bring down your value. Some of them want to, I'm not going to say this for my situation, but I've seen it where a man will purposely knock up a woman that's got shit going on for herself just to attach himself to her permanently as a prize, Mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, you got to, what I'm learning, I'll take and apply it to my life and just other women to kind of advise them to not be wearing their heart on their sleeve. Because mm-hmm. that was me. Like, I used to just wear my heart on my sleeve all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but y'all can follow me at V Taylor TV. I just hit fifty k subs. I didn't even want to announce it, but I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna announce it. I reached fifty thousand subscribers. So if y'all wanna join, mm-hmm. then again. Well, con- well, congratulations, congratulations, and uh, I hope uh, I hope life treats you well. I hope life treats, and I hope I hope you come to some definitive decision making after. You uh, keep getting knocked upside the head with the truth. Right? I don't know why you act like. <laughs> but, 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 Cause your ass seem, your ass still seem like your ass is confused. Like you just don't really realize what it is. <laughs> Did you? I don't know. I don't know if you don't realize what it is. But it, it, listen. I know the surgery just took place today and usually it take a, a recovery period, right? Usually be about 60 to 90 days. So the final results will be, the final results will be in, in about six months after today's surgery. Um, you will have another surgery <laughs> coming up soon and we'll see how much nut milk has been drained out your system. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> P- Peter Wacker juice. Just you just just don't re up on it <laughs> in the meantime. <laughs> I am celibate, so I don't know. I've been off that Peter Wacker juice for So a while. listen, do you wanna take do you wanna take any a couple phone calls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do okay, it. do y'all wanna call in? Do y'all wanna say something? I'm gonna take three calls and then I'm going to let y'all go. Um, But first, before I do that, let me read my super chats. Okay. I would like to read my super chats. Oh, I had fun. I had fun. They, they didn't took an L. The Manosphere didn't took another L. Right. (laughs) (laughs) They not, they not coming out of this. They not coming out of this. Okay. I don't even know what, I don't even know. They just need to. They just need to go put their head under the blanket and just pretend that this never even happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just. They probably yeah. happy I'm out their way. They don't like me. That's a lie. Them. They do like you. They do. They like. like you. Don't bring her back on these panels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch them. Watch how they be crying when you don't come back. Watch how they be crying when you don't come back. <laughs> Or watch how they be crying after they realize that you belong to me now. Yeah, yeah, you belong to me oh. now. Mm-hmm. Lorianne, mm-hmm. Lorianne, love ten dollars just off top because I love you. I love you too. Raw B, ten dollars. Not Playboy Bunny pimping. Y'all look cute. Thank you, Raw B. All right, Mocha Bunny, Mocha Bunny, two dollars. 
uh, a nigga in fake Versace in public ain't to be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> Yonanomics, $20. Wishing you all the best, B. Taylor. Much love and respect to the queen maker. Thank you. Jimmy Stone Tarot, $10. Come on, baby. B. Taylor, welcome to the ARC. Queen Maker, thank you for your work and saving us from destruction. Yes, DJ Torch, $2. Anton is a misogynist, plain and simple. DJ Torch, $2. Hi, Quita. Red Iceberg, $10. Anton dug a hole and stepped his whole ass in it. <laughs> you go, Queen Maker. We love you. Absolutely. So they, $2. One-sided loyalty is for suckers. Candy Cane Lane, $10. I remember when Anton came into the space anti-manosphere. He went against them all the time on panels. To see how he changed up for the bag is crazy. TA, $2. Once you see one mask slip, you'll, you'll clock them all. Queen a set, $50. Men single out women outstanding merit and put them on sub uh, structure to avoid recognizing the capabilities and value of women. As a collective, men are narcissistic, psychotic, natural born inmate predators. Absolutely. Jimmy Stone Tarot, $5. Oh my God. He confessed that the laws were for men. City boys down bad. Yep. Bella yeah. Vega. I keep telling you, like, who, why is anybody trying to, why is anybody trying to go against me? That's the question. <laughs> why is it? Because all these men are proving me right. So the smoke shouldn't be with me. You shouldn't have no smoke with me because I'm just telling it like it is. Y'all might want to start asking, pointing the finger at where the finger need to be pointed at. And women need to be waking up because clearly women can't see this shit. It's clear that women ain't hearing these motherfuckers. It's clear that women are not seeing their behavior. And somehow Priscilla is the delusional crazy one who just hate men, right? But meanwhile, all the men out here showing you that Priscilla is correct in what she's <clears throat> saying. Bella Vega, $10. Get the strap, P. We got to save B. Taylor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I done jumped in the I done jumped in the goddamn pool, swam and got her ass, and she's still teetering like penis juice <laughs> is on her goddamn brain. Penis juice, that's all right. <laughs> the effect of the surgery, again, you gotta you gotta give it the healing time, right? It's not it's not instant. You don't get instant results. Cause this was invasive. See, the 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 minimally invasive treatments, you know, it's a you know, a faster recovery time. Baby, this was full invasive. So and you know the recovery time about six months. So we we we're, we're gonna check on B Taylor in about six months. <laughs> I'm a Libra, by the way, for those you, exercises. Okay. Time. Okay. Miss Air Sign. You know, they say air signs go together, right? <laughs> yeah, I got I got Aquarius. Oh, yeah, Aquarius. you are an air sign, huh? Yeah, I'm Aquarius and Gemini because I'm a Gemini moon, Aquarius sun. So, you know, you bring your Libra ass right on over here. It's just a bunch of air everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> flip flossy listen flip flossy right <laughs> hug your mouth hug your mouth hug your mouth <laughs> yeah <laughs> baby won't you hug your mouth <laughs> oh that my what, god that what they gonna have to do <laughs> now nah, look asia twenty dollars the champ is here priscilla is the goat god damn right catalia 1287 50 dollars these men are going to go back to talking in the locker room again in private because they are exposed, baby. They asses all the way out. All the way out. <laughs> Denise Starr, $10. Great show. Oh my God, I'm speechless. Learned so much more tonight. Thanks, Queen. Lotus Blossom, $20. There's nothing like the essence of a woman. P, you are a breath of fresh air, my dear. Thank you. Jimmy Stone Tarot, $5. Baby B, don't worry. We here for you if you're here for yourself, baby. Bella Vega, $5. B Taylor, you are beautiful. Don't mind the trolls. Colette Highland, $20. In male-dominated spaces, males would totally disagree with my presence and openly talk about the pedophilic uh, predilections. 
When I complained, my male boss said, you have to understand you work with animals. He did nothing. <clears throat> Canary 45, $5 sticker. Phoenix sold $2. She got to recite Proverbs 31 and cry in the car. Yeah. <laughs> and Mocha Bunny X3, $5. Males choose better. All right, cool. Say less. Stops choosing them indefinitely. Go play with something safer, baby. Uh-huh. That's it. Let's see. That was Mocha. But let's see if we got any more come in. Uh, okay. We got some more that came in. Uh. Uh, T.R. Hardy, $50. Welcome to the right side, B. You both are beautiful women. I really enjoyed the show today, love. Love you, Queen P. Love you, too. May the Alchemist, $5. Black women empowerment is black women. Black men are not black women empowerment. Monetizing our pain for money. Gucci Tied, $10. I think relationships would be much easier if people opened up from the beginning and decided what they want. If you don't want someone with the past, okay, just don't shame them, men or women. All right? So now we finna, now we finna uh, take some calls. Oh, wait a minute. I got, I, I got some, 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 I got some cash apps. Hold on. Uh, the Dom, $2. The Dom, $2. Uh, Karen uh, Mackey, $10. And Chelsea Cook, $5. Thank y'all. All right, so now we're going to take some calls and see what see what everybody got to say. Bingo, bingo. Oh, and uh, <laughs> Keela Mason, $20. Thank you. Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hi. Let me set my timer. I know you have a three-minute maximum here. This is Jenny, Red Pill Jenny from Austin, Texas. How are you guys? I'm fantastic. Ladies. I'm doing well. Thank you. Okay, so I just got to talk to your friend here. I used to be just like her. I was all on the Man of Steer panels, and because I'm conservative, I was all about the traditional and the gender roles and the standards and this and that the other. Listen, sweetheart. I'm talking to her. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter how you tailor yourself to try to fit exactly what these men say. They will make fun of you. And you saw it tonight. They say they want us to go to therapy. We go to therapy. They say us, they want us to keep our legs closed. We keep our legs closed. We, you know, they say it, they want us to choose better. We choose better. And then they laugh at us for it. So listen, I have, I've got so much dirt on so many of these manosphere guys it's not even funny like i'm about to write a book about it like it's it's insane to me because who they are on the internet is not who they are behind closed doors trust me you cannot trust these men stay away from them if you still want to pursue the fairy tale understand this and i had this uh this image that came to my mind as you guys were speaking tonight i used to live in vegas these men are like a slot machine. They want you to keep putting in that dollar. Keep putting in that dollar. I'll love you, cha-ching, nothing. I'll cook for you, cha-ching, nothing. I'll suck your dick better than ever anybody else can, cha-ching, nothing. This is what they want. They want you to keep feeding the machine, and you're never going to win. Now, there might be that 2%. There might be that 16%, according to you, Princella, mm -hmm. okay, that are, you know, average and above we don't know but we cannot waste any more of our time trying to tailor who we are to try to fit the description of what they are looking for at the end of the day they don't want grown women they don't want smart women they don't want supportive women they don't want women with a business sense they don't want they don't care about your intuition they don't even care about how good of a parent you are and how well you can nurture children which of course is what they say they want. They don't care. They don't. You're dealing with Neanderthals. You're dealing with cavemen. They never grew up. We have a society that supports uh, their immaturity. And like you, Princella, I'm a, I, uh, I, I didn't serve, but I come from a military family. I worked in male-dominated industries my whole life. I too was a tomboy. I tried to flip the script, be super, super hyper-feminine, it still doesn't work. These men are predators. And if, and if they can't get you 
through money. They're going to try to get you through that hole that you have in your heart. And, uh, oh, there's my timer. I'm sorry, Princella, but the last thing I wanted to say is that the first time I saw one of your video, I actually wrote it down on my calendar. August 19th, and I wrote this on my calendar. I'm going to email you a picture of it. It was the day the fairy tale died. I used to be a Disney princess girl, too. I just believed in that, too. But uh, you set me free, and I am the happiest I've ever been. The happiest, I promise you. So... Thank you for thank you for taking my call. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Bye -bye. Mm -hmm. Hello, Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hi, Princella. It's Erica. Hey, Erica. You got something for me or B Taylor? Um, I guess it's for B. I wanted to say that um, um, the whole fairy tale thing, it's all bullshit, that Disney fairy tale. Um, Walt Disney, I don't even know where he got those ideas from, but it wasn't from home because he used to beat the shit out of his wife. <laughs> That's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, well, thank you. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> oh my God. You're welcome. All right. Bye. Thank you, All right. Oh, I didn't put the phone number up here. That's the reason why we ain't got more calls. 832 627 6575. 832 627 6575. We're going to let uh, some more people call. Um, let, me get me, let me get me another glass of wine. <laughs> I got to get me another glass of wine. Woo. <laughs> Mm. Mm -mm, it was getting to it. Look, you know, they have to call me a little drunk, so one glass it is for me. Mm -hmm. Well, shoes. Tomorrow I'm going to get some margaritas. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow. Or today. What time is it? Oh, 12, okay. 12 30. 30. Yeah, today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here we go. Greetings. Greetings. Who am I speaking with? James. James. What's up, bro? How you doing? Great. I'm doing fairly well. Um, I'll praise and honor to the queen maker, the fuck nigga slayer, and the female educator. Yes, indeed. Um, uh, I guess it's, this is more so a comment, not a question, mm -hmm. especially towards, um, what's her name? B? B? B Taylor. With you. Um, I'm a man. Mm -hmm. Right. And I love Princella. Like she's church to me and I'm mad that I should click on this. I tried to save this for breakfast. But um <clears throat> yeah. um she went on um was it Sonator's page and there was this chick in the um another chick um I would say caping for men, so to speak, or trying to hold ground for men and a lot of women are holding ground for men. <clears throat> And I'm going to say it's pointless. And um, this is for you and for anybody else who in the audience may be questioning. Well, maybe there are some good men. There are some good men, but it's like she said in a couple of videos ago, there's so few. It's, it's pretty much neg negligible or whatnot. But um, women who are caping for men, I am telling you from a man's experience, it is annoying. It gets on his fucking nerves. Like, cause it's like, ultimately as a man, our, our nature is to conquer or to achieve or to, uh, I would say get quote unquote better or whatever. So when we have a woman in the, the woman who we see ourselves trying to be with, um, when we see ourselves trying to be with her and she caping for us, it's like, you truly may help us get past a certain threshold, but because you didn't hold a specific I'm going to say high feminine standard. Mm. It's going to always kick you in the ass. Mm. Like, um, and I'm, and I'm saying this cause I'm a gay man. Um, there was this guy that I was interested in and he had domestic abuse history. And the reason I could not talk to him because I'm a shit talker. Like I, sh I talk shit or whatever. And it takes a certain personality to deal with me, but I could not, date him because of his history with abuse because i knew that he would um 
for one, take some of it, uh, internalize the certain levels of it, and um, he wouldn't stand his ground. And I'm like men, like I'm telling you as men, we we look for weakness, we seek that shit out. Um, and I'm gonna say a lot of it, it's, it's our nature. And I'm gonna say like a lot of times women, they be trying to plead for us and it's like you're pleading for our lowest nature. And I'm gonna say, please women, um, like I love Princella, like I greatly, I'm so happy. I'm not happy that you went through what you went through, but I am happy that you got through what you, you got the lesson, you got what you got out of it mm -hmm. or whatever. But ladies, please don't buy for us, man. We don't like it. It's just gonna, it's gonna kick you in the ass in the, in the long run, I promise you. This is the man telling you that it's gonna kick you in the ass because uh, like, um, like the scientist said, we our thoughts are toxic in our minds. Um, I would say ultimately boiling it down, our minds are fixed on how can, how we can use something to get the best of it. Mm -hmm. um, and um, and then again, it's our nature. So to a degree, it's not our fault. But I believe also within that nature with the, like the hero's tale, it's our nature also. Well, it's our um, journey or our purpose or whatever it is to evolve, to make ourselves um palatable i guess for the uh, the female presence but i love you um princella keep up your work i know you don't need my encouragement or whatnot i know you don't need it but i love you thank you so much peace out love you too james <laughs> have a good night uh let me give me a second i gotta get me another glass of wine because we're gonna take some calls and there's a lot of people calling on me. <laughs> Yeah. And you, you, baby, baby, you ain't got to, baby, you ain't got to stay here. I'm gonna take all the calls. No, I'm good. Okay, Look, I'm good. Okay, so I let me get, let me get my drink, baby. Water. All right. <laughs> Should I read the comments? Yeah, you, we, yeah, just as long as you don't get your feelings hurt. Okay, as long as you don't get your damn feelings hurt. What my Libra gang at? Can I get uh? Some Libra uh, signs in the chat. It's our season still, I think, right? October, yeah, it's still our season. Shout out to the Libras. I'm watching y'all comments. Whoever said I'm a Pygmisha, that's a lie. I fight with Pygmishas. I'm waiting for the Libra signs. Okay, Jocelyn, Janae. Uh, book, book, kitty. Oh, y'all putting them in there. Okay. Libra rising. Yes. Look at all my Libras. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Love it. Love it. I knew my Libra people was up in here. She didn't love me to ran the show, but y'all make sure to subscribe to B Taylor TV because your girl hit 50K. <laughs> Thank you, Nurse Fancy. Hey. Oh, I see some people I know in here. Thank you. I see some of my people in here too. What you sipping on? Oh, you know, some Stella Rose. Ah, no, ma'am. That shit is good. I <laughs> like that shit. Stella Rose. That's yeah, not like going to do nothing. It ain't, but it tastes good, shit. Yeah, it's like nice juice. I get, I get a margarita tomorrow too, so. Look. Okay. <laughs> Look. All right. So, all right. So we're gonna take some calls. All right. Okay. Who did I just get? Okay. Hello. Princella the Queen Maker here. Who am I speaking with? Hi, it's Christina. Hey, Christina. What you got? You got something for me or B. Taylor tonight? Hi, um, I'm kind of nervous. Hold on, let me turn on my timer. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I wanted to speak to B. Taylor. Um, I wanted to let you know that I think I'm a little bit younger than you guys. And I was fortunate enough to find you, Princella, sometime earlier this year. And you literally cracked the fairy tale out of me. Like, I'm so grateful for you. I thank you so much. Um, and be like, please continue listening to her. Like, I'm even trying to tell my loved ones to listen to Princella because I really hate seeing women get hurt by these men. Um, but yeah, that's all I had to say. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. No problem. Bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I think everybody should use a timer. Yeah. Priscilla speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hi, this is Michelle. Hey, Michelle. What you got for me tonight? Is it for me or B. Taylor? Um, well, it's kind of for the both of you. All right. Um, I just wanted to put it out there that um, I kind of got caught up in the divestment type of group, type of thing, thinking that um, you can find better outside of the black race. But I... Um, <laughs> When I actually had some experiences doing that, um, I actually met this one white dude and he, we were on a date and he made a comment about how he used to put peanut butter on his dingling and force his dog to lick it off. So um, it's just, it's, it's male nature. It's not the race. There's definitely something deeply wrong uh, amongst other things that I don't want to share on here, but that was just one of them that made me kind of like, completely turned off and that's kind of um around the time that i started watching you and it just all made sense so mm -hmm. that's all i wanted to say thank you so oh much i God. appreciate you yeah you have a good one you too bye, -bye. <laughs> baby this is the this is the real queendom over here i'm telling you <laughs> peanut butter on the hello hey this is prince Sella speaking who am i speaking with Hi, my name is Joan. How you doing? What you got for us tonight? Um, I just wanted to say thank you for your part in dismantling the patriarchy. I have 41 Shades of Men, and I just ordered the five components of love, and I can't wait to get it. And my question for you is, what's your dream interview with who? What's my dream interview? Okay. Yeah, like what's the person that you would like to sit down the most and have a conversation with Steve, them? Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey and uh, Jordan Peterson. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, great. I'm married mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think I have a unicorn mm -hmm. and I'm very happy he supports me listening to you. He's reached out to you to try to get me like a one-on-one -on -one with you. Mm -hmm. I was a little nervous and I told him to wait to get it for like... Um, Christmas mm -hmm. and he completely agrees with everything you have to say but he does feel like there are some men that could evolve eventually and I just want to say thank you for everything that you do and have a wonderful night thank you so much I hope you have a good night you too bye bye oh Botswana called me somebody from Botswana called me okay I get, I get lost in these calls sometimes. Hold on. 86, 49. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Ooh. Why would you want to interview um with Steve Harvey? Because I think Steve Harvey out here telling uh, women the truth. Yeah. Mm hmm and pe he get a lot of hate for it but people don't people don't see people don't hear what I hear and they don't see what I see 
Steve yeah. Harvey. Steve Harvey be trying to keep it real, but people keep getting caught up. Um, Steve Harvey is still a male. That's the part they don't get. Yeah. Sixty-six forty-nine. Okay. Somehow I got lost in these phone calls. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah. Hello? Prince Ola speaking. Who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Matt from North Carolina. Hey, Matt. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, look. As a male, I'm 100% agreeing with you. 100%. Uh, what I have learned is when you have, actually, when you have the intellectual capacity to debate with anybody, you become a threat. And a lot of men that I have started finding out is that they resort to emotion. Mm -hmm. They all resort to, to some kind of emotion, and that emotion is very destructive. And I have a female, I have a girl, I've been with her for like four years. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, ever since I really started tapping into my feminine energy, I have became a way more creative person. And I'm, I'm into music, I sound design. Mm -hmm. I mean, my even my sound designer skill has increased mm -hmm. to where uh, mm -hmm. I'm in beat battles. I'm winning certain places in beat battles. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I don't I don't even like working with men. So I had the luxury to start working for myself and by myself. Yes. And I had conversations with women. I've literally been in rooms where it was one woman and it was like ten males, and it didn't go too well for the women. So I automatically started taking up for the women. So one thing I have learned, mm -hmm. even in nature, you don't have king bees, you don't have king ants, and most of the time, uh, in a lion pride is lioness, mm -hmm. and they do most of the hunting. So uh, back to nature, even in nature, in the origins, women was actually doing parthenogenesis. Mm -hmm. This is why the X chromosome is way more stronger than the Y chromosome. And a lot of people are, are, oh, everything starts with male and female. And and allegorically, the Adam and Eve story is bullshit. Mm -hmm. yep. So th this, is, this is why you have women going through parthenogenesis. If you don't believe me, look at what people, look at what the women go through with their periods anyway. That's already, uh, that's already a premonition of what par parthenogenesis was. And, and, and. They gave, even in the Lost Book of Inky, it still supports that claim. Mm -hmm. That men are supposed to be protectors. And what we have done now, we have created this patrilineal system based off of hurt people. And hurt people hurt people. That's why we have a lot of hurt. We have a lot of hurt men and women. Yeah. So I'm with you 100%. I'm 100%. And like I said, ever since I tapped into my uh, feminine energy, I have gotten I, my my intellect has really increased, and now a lot of men comment in of emotion. Yeah, this is why I don't agree with emotion. I agree with logic. I agree with patience. I agree with creation. And uh, but yeah, I, I ain't gonna be on. I ain't gonna be here too long. But I definitely I'm with you 100. percent 100. percent The queens is up. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate the call. No doubt. All right. Mm-hmm. 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 Hello. Prince Ella speaking. Who am I speaking with? You're speaking with 5B. How you doing? What you got for me tonight? So I just wanted to talk to both of y'all, Princella and B Taylor. And just, uh, well, I'm going to talk to Priscilla first, but Priscilla, I, listen, keep on, keep on, listen, keep on body slamming the man of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> keep on body slamming. I just get a thrill. I always get a thrill out of your intellect. Like, I get a kick out of it because it's like, I love to see when somebody got their facts. When they, it's like, they just, when they just smart and they know they shit. <laughs> and it's like, 
You can't, you know, no, no, nobody can't box with you. You the knockout queen. You the yeah. knockout queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's just it. That's just it. That's really all I gotta say about you, Priscilla. Cause I, I just knew you gonna come with some more, with some more stuff. And I know you going you gonna keep on surprising us and and just doing what you're doing. Like you are the cold truth. You are you are just you knocking their asses out. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then B Taylor, um, what I just wanted to say with you, like you are, you know, don't don't let the them manuscript people uh hem you up, girl, because a lot of them just want to you know, a lot of them want to get a get a reaction out of you, and they they like to suck your energy up. Yeah, uh, so mm -hmm. please don't let them suck your energy up because you, as a woman, like preserve your energy with these with these males. Because I'm telling you, like they they are just they're awful. I mean, I don't want to say you know. I mean, well, hell, that's just the damn truth. They're fucking awful. <laughs> mm -hmm. They tell you what it is right in their face. You know, right in your face. Please believe them. You know, so don't like, don't try to like read between the lines. Whatever that they saying, believe them because it's right there. Mm -hmm. So just ignore these men and just come on, come on over to the to the divine feminine. Come over and you know and just ignore that, ignore them and and really dissenter men because I'm telling you, a lot of these men out here are not. They're, they're not what they say they are but all of the all they're doing is telling on themselves you know through these podcasts they're literally telling everything yep. every single yep. thing so just please believe them and that's really all i have to say i thank y'all so much you know priscilla again i thank you because you keep on body slamming these motherfuckers <laughs> absolutely will do thank you so much i appreciate you thank you bye-bye bye-bye Hello. Hey, Priscilla. Speaking. Hey, Priscilla. This is Khadijah B. I just had a quick question for uh, B. Taylor, and the question was, um, what is it up about men that you need so bad? Like, what is it? It's a legit question. What is it that you need from them? What I just I don't I don't get it. Mm. <laughs> um. I mean, I've always. Since I, I don't know, like I've always, since I was younger, just been attracted to men. I've always been attracted to their their physical attraction, how strong they are, like, you know, the protection thing, you know, like feeling safe around them. Um, it seemed like, you know, what I picture, what I picture the man that I would want to be with is someone who isn't so emotional and can think logical through situations when I can't and just someone to kind of like pull me up and reasonable, um, you know, so <laughs> I mean, that's, a, it's kind of like a loaded question, but like We're what I would want to find in like a partner, like how I view, you know, like my, the men that's in my life, I guess per se, like how they, protect and love on their wives like i've always admired that like dang i can't wait until i have that you know so how long are you going to continue to see, keep searching for it before you change your I mean, mind i'm not searching i mean i'm not searching for it like i'm not at this point i'm not searching for it i think that i it's i get approached on the daily from different men so it's more so i'm now able to weave out bullshit and so i'm on a celibate journey i'm not really i'm just kind of cruising like i'm not really i'm not as i used to be really boy crazy i'm not on that time anymore <laughs> yeah because I was just about to ask about the protection thing because you felt like you wasn't protected and they ain't stand up for you and they let them beat you up on. So this this safe feeling, I'm I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah, what... like in the real world, like the social media stuff, it's like, you know, I, I now realize you can't. Ask you know, I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot when people say, this is social media. You don't think that they, they carry this same mentality in the real, these are real people. They carry the same mentality in the real world, except for they're going to talk shit to you on the Internet. And they're, in the real world, they're going to put on a mask so they can approach you. 
get the pussy and then move and then move on. I mean, that's 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 the difference. I mean, but these are what they tell you on the internet is they inside their house. They don't take the mask off when they in real life and they approaching you. They putting their mask on before they leave the house. That's the that's the difference that I see. I'm just saying in my generation, I'm 20. I'm in my 20s. There is no I'm I'm in the mentality where there is no such thing as a good black man. There's no such thing that doesn't exist. I'm sorry. Well, I don't want to take up too much of, of your time. I, I just that's the only question that I had. Um, Y'all have a good night and I'm uh, listening from the clouds. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. Y'all too. Bye bye. Hey, hello. Hello. Who am I speaking with? Prince, oh my God, this is Valerie. Hi, thank you so much for calling me. I want to say, you look so damn sexy tonight. I almost wish a guy would call up and talk shit so that you would give us a little show. You know how I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and B. Taylor, I just want to say, this is the first time that I'm seeing you, but it's so nice to be introduced to you, and you seem like such a sweet, kind-hearted woman. And I just want to say that, fuck Anyone who has ever said anything negative about you, having children or anything like that, fuck them. They can all go, you know, do you know what. Thank you, ladies, so much for everything tonight, and take care. Thank you. You have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. They can hear me, right? And that when I'm talking? Mm-hmm. Botswana. Okay, that one ain't ringing. Uh. Prince Ella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Oh, uh oh. Hold on. One second. I can't hear you. Hello? Prince Ella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hi, this is Amara. Hey. Again. How you doing, Amara? Hi. What you got for us tonight? Um, I have a few things. So I um the last thing that she just said, um, B, was that she likes how men protect and that's like one of the things that she is attracted to men about like the ones in her life and you always tell us how women are the natural protectors mm -hmm. and i just wanted to give um an example of like a past relationship mm -hmm. um i was dating a guy and the reason why i was attracted to him was the same thing that i was attracted to you know the protective side of him he's really big and strong and i was like anybody nobody's gonna mess with me when he's around me and i have a smart mouth and so Whenever you get to talking, some people can't talk back, so they want to fight. So I like that he was always there to protect me because I talk a lot of shit. So um, until one day, um, I was talking my shit to him. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, you know, he got irritated, and he roughed me up, and I didn't have anybody to protect me from him. And I was like, whoa. So I'm looking for protection from my, from my natural predator, which is what you are always talking about. And so I just wanted to put that out there that, like, eventually, yeah, you, you can get a man who can protect you for a while from other people, but who's going to protect you from him? You know what I mean? Like, when, yeah. when things start to switch up. So that, that was one thing. And then another thing was, um, I wanted to ask, B, are you, a, are you attracted to feminine men? Uh, what do you mean, like, feminine men? Like, men who I are, like... Like, think of, like, a bisexual guy who's kind of fluid in his expression. and Or the guy that called in earlier that was like, you know, I got more creative, you know, um, and I, I'm embracing my feminine. Like, are you attracted to more feminine men who don't really care about the perspective of, of other men? 
Uh, I'm not attracted to flamboyant men. No. Um, no, uh, not flamboyant. Just feminine. A man that's tapped into his feminine uh, energy. I don't even know if I've even ran across that. So I wouldn't even know what that even looks like without it being like a gay male. So I really can't even. Right. Because when I so, think about feminine, like a lot of men would be like, oh, he's feminine because he's a pretty boy. So, But that's not the mentality I'm pretty sure you're talking about, right? No, I'm talking about a man who can sit down and talk to you about different situations. You know, you know how you can sit with your girls and you can talk about different things. He could be like, "Oh, yeah. your outfit. I think you could you could switch it up and you could do it like this. Your makeup, da, 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 da. you know, those type of things. Like guys that can actually yeah, I, I look at mind you. That as long as he doesn't overthink situations, because we can't have two of us overthink <laughs> the same thing. So. <laughs> Oh, okay, I see what you mean. So you think that you're saying that femininity is like kind of like an overthinking type of energy? No, um, no, I don't think femininity is. I think with a lot of my friendships and a lot of women that I've dealt with is that you'll say one thing and they'll like overanalyze it. And and that's only been my thing with like certain friendships where I'm like, dang, if I was to date a, like, you know, like it's kind of like, oh. Like you say one thing and they just they they think you said something else and it doesn't matter if you explain it they just like no you said this this time it it made me feel where men they're just kind of like all right they don't think too much into it and they definitely think differently and it works against you and it works for you and against you because when they okay, say something yeah. you try to explain it to them yeah okay well yeah I was asking that question because what'd you say. No, I'm trying to see if Priscilla's good. <laughs> oh, shoes. I'm going to have to give me another chair. Shit, this damn chair. I had no, my chair, my chair I had is a stretch. My chair too, yeah, I had to stand up for a second. <laughs> Shit, because I'm like, man. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. So my uh, my last question, while I was asking that to see like if you like were attracted to men just because they're men or if you're attracted to that masculine protective side of them, which is... Uh, you know, two different things. But then the last thing that I wanted to ask is, um, are you willing to be alone forever? I don't think I'll ever be alone. I don't think I'll ever be alone. I never went, I never really gave into that. I think that I have too many family friends. I have two kids. I have, I think that with Priscilla was talking about the community of women, like, I mean, think about it. Women, we are going to die alone because men die at, they die first before their wives anyway. Their lifespan, like my great grandmother, her husband died 20 something years before she died. So she spent the last 20 years of her life with her kids because her husband died before her. So, and, and a lot of women who do get sick, their husbands do put them in a home because they're not going to take care of them. It's very rare few men that's going to sit here and take care of their wives. So that never scared me because a lot of women end up. The, the name widow came up for a reason because women, when their husbands die, they don't get remarried. They, they like, they're okay with like being by themselves. Okay. So you, so technically you are okay with being uh, like, when I say alone, I'm not talking about family friends. I'm talking about like relationship wise, because you, you're attracted to men and you want to be with men. So if, if you never find that man who can give you that protection that you need, the possibility, or if you do find that man and he dies early, the possibility of you being alone, you're okay with that. So I mean, that's what you're saying, right? Be, yeah, because if somebody passed away and I found that person, they pass away, then yeah, like I live life and I'm like, I'm okay with that. Like I don't, I'm okay with, I'm like okay. alone now in a way. So I'm, I, there's a certain piece there where I'm like, I like myself. I like my own mm -hmm. company. So I'm okay right. with being to myself. I know a lot of people are not able to understand that, especially a lot of men. They think being alone is like that because they're not meant to be alone. But women, I think it like we're okay with that. Like, but I don't okay. think that I don't think that way that I'm gonna be alone forever. Like I don't I don't know. I just don't have that mindset to manifest that in my life. Like yeah. yeah, no, I'm not saying that you should think that. What I'm asking is if you're okay with it happening. And I'm talking about two different situations, right? So you being alone like where you never get a man because that's what you what you want, and then also you get like that 
dying, your husband dying before you, if you do find that 12% or that however many percent it is, like you're okay with being alone without a man, without a partner for uh, forever and being okay with that because you like your personal space. And then you also are okay with, if you do find that person and he passes away, you're okay with this, you know, um, living your the rest of your life at full out. I'd rather be by myself than deal with some bullshit for real. I want my peace. I think that's so important. Okay. That that's exactly where I was where I was getting to. So now we know that these men are are we know that men are not bringing peace. We're not. We know who these men are. If you, I mean, at least if you watch Princella enough, and if you deal with enough men, you know what men offer, what or what they don't offer, what they don't have. So, like at the end of the day, like trying to argue with them, trying to um trying to get them to understand your point of view to me is very pointless and i see what you're doing up on the panels but i just wanted to say like save your energy because if you do really want to find that man who's going to be you know part of the 10 percent that's going to love you and be with you forever and die in your arms then you definitely can't be spending your energy talking to these men and trying to explain anything to them because you're just gassing them up you're like that type of stuff gives them it it gives them a boner i don't for lack of better words so that's all i wanted to say priscilla uh, love you i love you too have a good night okay, bye. bye hello priscilla speaking who am i speaking with Hi, this is Kelly. How are you? <laughs> oh, so I, oh my God, I take I was it. Just I take it. Y'all know each other or something? <laughs> yes, I was just calling in to give a shout out to my girl B. <laughs> How are you doing? All right, y'all. Go you ahead, talk. Lovely this evening. We're good. How are you enjoying the show? Uh, <laughs> I think everybody wants you to be a lesbian. <laughs> everybody, what? That last girl, I think she wanted you to be a lesbian. She was like, so are you okay with not having a man? I mean, I'm serious. Like, if you're not, like, I'll totally give you my number. <laughs> I'm just like, I feel like, <laughs> Do you know I feel like, it's okay for everybody to have their own preference. You don't have to switch sides. I think that's a little bit ridiculous. But I just want to say you look yeah. lovely tonight, baby. And Priscilla, <laughs> I've never been on a show with you, but I think you were on a show with my sisters uh, on the piece. So you did a great job Okay, um, standing up for the women. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Thank you. All Beautiful. Right. All right. All right have, a good <laughs> have a good night. Enjoy. All right. Bye-bye. Hello. Priscilla speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hi, this is Elaine. How you doing, Elaine? What you got for us tonight? All right. Um, well, I was listening to um, when y'all were going over the podcast, and those men were bringing up the same talking point that I hear a lot of them bring up when they complain that a woman has an ex who did not treat her well or who didn't do much for her, and then they want to turn around and say, well, if he didn't treat you well, and he got everything from you, then why should I have to treat you well? Like, why are you raising your price for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, but here's the deal. You will never hear a woman make that complaint towards a man. If a man approaches a woman and says, well, my ex treated me bad, I'm a hardworking man, I paid all the bills, uh, I bought her everything she wanted, nice gifts, 
for Valentine's Day, her birthday. She didn't appreciate me. She didn't cook or clean or take care of the house. Uh, she went out partying. She cheated on me. Uh, a woman's response is going to be, you poor man, let me heal your wounds. I'm going to treat you right. I'm going to show you what a good woman can be. A, a woman is never going to turn around and fix her lips to say to a man, well, if she didn't have to do all that, why do I have to do all that? Why should I remain faithful to you? Why should I, you know, cook and clean? Um, never in a million years are you going to hear a woman take an attitude like that. And the reason is, the difference is, it's a point of pride for a woman to believe that she's a good partner to a man. Because a woman gets a lot of her self-esteem thinking, I'm a good partner. I'm a good wife. Uh, I'm a damn good woman. But for men, though, it's the complete opposite. It's a point of pride to men for how bad uh, they can treat a woman. They want to go and brag, oh, yeah, uh, I treated her like, I don't know if I can swear. <laughs> you know, I treated, I treated that B like S. You know, I cheated on her. I didn't buy her nothing. Uh, they brag to each other about how badly they can treat a woman. And for a man uh, who treats his partner good, they call him a simp. That's a simp if a, if a man is a good partner to a woman. So you know why? Point, mm -hmm. You know why? Let me make it make sense to both of y'all real quick. Mm -hmm. If you walk past a vending machine and saw the cookies that you wanted hanging off and they just fell out and you ain't have to put no dollar in there, would you be happy that you got your cookies or your little snack for free? Oh, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what if you're used to that malfunctioning happening? Every time mm. you go, you get your snack without having to put a dollar in it. But then even though you can get the snack without putting a dollar in it, here comes some other person putting a dollar in it, getting the same snack, putting a dollar. Wouldn't you look at that person as a fool? You a fool for putting a dollar in this vending machine and it's going to give you something without the dollar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, it's like we're, we're unequally yoked. Men don't even want to be good partners to a woman. And when a man gets into a relationship with a woman, he, he doesn't care about her at all. He's just approaching the relationship like he's a slick tradesman. I want to put in as little effort, energy and money and time as possible while extracting the maximum amount of value as I can because they don't see us as a uh, human so why should a woman who wants to be a good partner get into a relationship with a man who wants to be a bad partner i would even say with the vending machine thing though you know how you go to mm -hmm. a vending machine and it's like you get that free snack but the next one you gotta pay for that it one accidentally slipped through <laughs> no but i'm but saying you gotta pay for the rest <laughs> no but what i'm saying is that the norm yeah. because women giving up their value has been a normal That's thing. The machines are broken. Okay. So mm -hmm. because well, but, yeah, because women want to be good partners. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> well, that's because women, women's partners are actually women. Women mm -hmm. have been conditioned to try to partner yes. with men. Right. Yes, that's, exactly. That's, that's the problem. But I haven't like, I'm a girl's girl and I've hung around nothing but girls like my life i've never just looked at any of my i've had friends try to hit on me i've had women try to it's not even about it's not even about sex never... it's not even about sex it's about companionship your partners your companions are women but because y'all have been conditioned to try to build relation listen males are for procreation their whole purpose is to pass their genes along Everything else is a social condition that is outside of their nature. OK, so now you're trying to build relationships with literal sperm donors and you're trying that when your relationships have always mm -hmm. been by nature with other women. But y'all have abandoned women and sought out. Mm -hmm. trying to build relationships with sperm donors. Right. And so 
most a lot of women don't figure it out until they didn't hit their head across the wall and now mm -hmm. that's that's and then that's what that's why these dudes be waiting for you to hit the wall right for you to have to settle <laughs> for, yeah because it's like you know so that's what it is and until you realize that's what you're looking for Hey, you'll keep looking, you, you'll keep spinning your wheels trying to give your value and force men to be something, play a role that they were not naturally designed to play. Mm -hmm. That's just mm -hmm. the bottom line. Okay. Well, that's all I uh, called in to say. And uh, um, I'm one of those people who I was, I was praying for truth. And then I, I found your channel. I was saying, God, uh, uh, what is it that I need to know? You know, show me what it is that I need to know. And then right after that, I found your channel and also uh, I'm, I'm the person that sent you the email about Twilight. <laughs> about what? Twilight. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. They, yeah, they, made me me. They, they made me cut that out that day. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. All right. All right. Thanks. All right. I don't want to go over my time. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so here's here's the issue. This this is where a lot of women are having a problem because women want they cake and they want to eat it too. They want the total package, right? And 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 that's why Anton was saying, well, you can have all of these desires, and if you get all of the things that you want, good for you, right? <laughs> Because they know good and damn well most women are not going to get all this shit out of men. They know it. Kevin knew it. Everybody knew it. They all knew it. And that's why they're telling women to lower their standards, right? But here's the problem that women are having. Women want romance, emotional intelligence, um, uh, discipline, go-getter. They want all of this in a male. And they want to be able to have sex with this person so that they can have the intimacy. Now, going back to what Anton said to the white chick, yeah, we know that y'all want to have the emotional connection and y'all act, y'all think y'all just need that. And we know that, yeah, maybe that's the, that you, it's a high for y'all, eh, but we just don't care. We just don't care. Right. So y'all, what women want is to have this romance, romantic intimacy with all this other shit with men. And because those higher level qualities exist in women, what ends up happening is you have to divide your shit. And so you have to have your emotional companionships with women and then you just find yourself fucking men because you're not going to get all of that shit out of men you find yourself just fucking them and at that point at that point when you just find yourself fucking them you have to ask yourself how do you value yourself how do you really value yourself to know that you have empty beings who don't give a fuck about y'all they tell you they don't give a fuck. They don't even like to hear you talking, right? And then you find yourself just giving them their highest biological aspiration, rewarding them with your body for what? For what? Mm -hmm. You giving them kids, you giving them your energy, you giving them everything, and then you wonder why they say what they say online. Well, you gave it to that dude. You ain't had no standards when you was fucking him. So now why you got him for me? And the reason why is because biologically, they all the same. And that's why they look at you like that. He wasn't shit. I ain't shit. But you chose him. Why you asking for me uh, all this stuff for me? So 
hey, here's the thing. That's just what it is. That's just what it is, right? You're going to find yourself fucking these dudes and going ring around the roses and playing the game. And if you don't value your time and if you don't value your energy and you want to spend your life playing games, then you spend your life playing games because that's what you're going to get. That's what you're going to get. In this, this day and age, right, where you see what is happening, the manosphere, right, the manosphere, baby, the, 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 the time for that fairy tale love shit, baby, that's out the window. That's out the window. The, the, the relationships that you're talking about, that you know, didn't you tell me that they had been knowing each other since they was in middle school or something? Something like that. What are you talking about? You talking about me? Yeah, some the, one of the relationships with the people that got a relationship that you look up to didn't didn't they have? Oh, a, my sister. She, she married her high school sweetheart. Right, right. You ain't you you ain't fucking with nobody in high school. So now you fucking with a brand, bunch of brand new people that you got to meet every day, right? That's affected by all of this shit out here, right? So you need to have a more realistic view of what it is, right? Because that's all you're going to be doing is spinning your wheels. Because they're telling you what it is, right? Hello? Priscilla speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hey, it's Priscilla. This is... um. Uh, Tim, hey Tim, how are you doing? I'm fantastic, Tim. What you got for us tonight? Well, first and foremost, I'd love to say thank you for making a video about um, when you was doing the callers um, review, where you were talking about people that are not good at communication, mm -hmm. that you know be respectful, and so I really appreciate that. Yes, sir. Uh, for B Simone, I will say this. B Taylor. I mean, uh, B Taylor. <laughs> also, sorry. Also, sorry. <laughs> I'm oh, <laughs> oh, sorry about that, but um, okay. is that be careful and very wary of messing with you know a lot of men, especially specifically black men, because you know they're pushing this narrative to turn simps into pimps. You know, um, that's their whole get down, and so they get on these podcasts and they get on these YouTube to uh, promote that and be the biggest advocate for it because you know they see the rise of single lonely black men and they're trying to say that it's more so single lonely black women but see the thing is is that you know black i mean women can always be in groups with themselves or they can either mess with hierarchical men you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. which is a uh, upgrade from the downgrade you get what i'm saying and so, therefore, because of that, they're afraid of it. So they're trying to bully black women. And you, you notice that with uh, Tommy Sotomayor, where he would just talk crap about black women, is because, you know, he wants to get uh, the women down to their level. Mm. So I just want to say, um, Ladies, keep doing what you do. You guys are doing uh, amazing. B. Taylor, I will subscribe to your channel. And um, you. keep your heads up. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. -bye. Hello. Prince Hello. speaking. Who am I speaking with? This is V. Hey, how you doing? What you get? What you got for me tonight? Did I talk to you already? No, not yet. Okay. All right. I was wondering if you saw that movie um with oh, Don't Worry Darling? No, ma'am. Oh, it is an interesting movie. It's basically um they they basically have they're talking about like the man of spirit basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they create this alternate universe, a uh, virtual universe. And, well, oh, I guess I shouldn't give it away. It's a good movie. And it actually is, it just, again, proves that how when they try to say, you know, um, women 
it's their fault. They're picking wrong, all this other stuff with that. We're making up these scenarios in our minds. It's too many of us that have the similar experience, even though I've never personally been uh, hurt by a man, like in a relationship or anything, but so many people that I know have that it's, it's irrefutable, you know, and it's, it's not that, you know, you hate men or things like that, but you call it, if it's quack like a duck, walk like a duck, I'm not going to call it something else. And at the end of the day, you know, like these movies and stuff that are coming out or, um, you know, these different creators, content creators like yourself who are saying the same thing over and over again. Well, I ain't going to say that. They ain't saying the same thing you saying, but a lot of the experiences are the same. So it's just like, it's time to stop gaslighting women. It's start, it's time to start, you know, saying, saying what it is and not what y'all wish it could be. It is what it is. Our experience is our experience. And, you know, it, the movement has begun. We moving different, we thinking different, prioritizing self. And that's scary for folks that have had it their way for so long. It's scary, but it's happening. So Absolutely. but thank you so much for your content. Um and to Miss uh B sorry. B Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> you you are beautiful. You got you got the right champ in your corner. Here come the yeah. champ. Like, you got the right champ in your corner, like I've, I've been missing a couple of videos, but I caught this one on my job. They might fire me for watching this, but I don't care. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Good we, job, we ladies. Not, Thank not, you. We friends now. We friends now. Ain't that Come right? on. Y'all yeah. sisters. Yeah. Nah, nah, y'all not friends. Y'all sisters. All right. Stay up. See you guys. Thank you. You have a good night. Bye. Okay. Hey, baby girl. You okay? I didn't even know you had went to sleep right there. You want to be your mom? Yeah, I walk in there. I'm like, where my baby at? I come back and I see she under my table. I'm like, was I not paying attention? And she was here the whole time. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, she quiet? Mm -hmm. Just love her mama. Yes, yeah, she do. Dang, I got somebody from Portugal call. I got somebody from Boston. Oh, Lord. Uh-uh. That's your friend. That's probably Ooh. your friend. Who? Fatty. Fatty. <laughs> fatty, fatty ain't my friend fatty just said some stuff that i agree with <laughs> he just said some stuff i agree with this is gonna be the last call y'all no i'm gonna take one more call after this and then i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let because it's 1 30 in the morning 121 hello prince is speaking who am i oh did i i just talked to you didn't i yeah you already called me okay all right <laughs> thanks okay so i'm gonna call too that was that portugal number no no <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, Priscilla speaking. Who am I speaking with? This is Catalea. Hey, Priscilla. Oh my God. I love you so much. Thank you. Love you too. What you got for us tonight? First of all, I want to tell you that you are looking absolutely amazing okay look, and I, listen let me call you right back let me answer this call from Botswana and I'll call you right back okay all right hello who am I speaking with oh my god hi Priscilla and how you doing <laughs> yes I'm good you're speaking to Tato from Botswana I've been trying to call the whole entire time thank you so much for getting my call uh let me keep it short so I've only like listened to your message for like a little over a month now. And the first time I heard it, I was driving and I was literally crying my tears out because why? Why did you have to ruin this beautiful fairy tale? <laughs> yes. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much for this truth. It's changing the world. I'm all the way in Botswana, but you are here making a difference. Yes. And, you know, I'm a musician. I've even made songs about this message now. And I'm discovering ancient um, uh, ancient signages that are like uh, backing up your claims about God being a woman. And I'm going to send you everything. I hope that you receive it on your email. And I just wanted to say thank you. That's all. I don't have any questions. Shout out to B. That's it. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay.
I want to thank you everything. Hello. Okay. All right. Now, what was you saying to me? Uh, I was saying that you look absolutely amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm over here in Houston just like, ooh, yes. I love you. Awesome. <laughs> so, anyway, so I wanted to tell you that me and my girls and my goddess group, we've been watching you. And, like, we, like, be like, Princella is on right now. You watching her. And we was all sipping and drinking all the Kool-Aid before. And now we're, like, we're on top of it. And thank you. I was recently engaged. And that didn't work out because everything that you have said about men is, is absolutely true. It's absolutely true. You know, just from me growing up and seeing my my father and other people in my family and my life mm -hmm. that are men they all do absolutely the same things that you have mentioned so i just want to let you know like big shout out to you for that and b taylor girl let me tell you honey um please stop stop going over there to the metasphere and and just and just work on you honey because I figured out like the best thing that I could ever do is just work on me and focus on me and elevate myself. And I think that's where we go wrong as women when we always are looking outside of ourselves, especially looking to a man because these men are sick in the head these days. They like really crazy, honestly. Mm -hmm. So, so just Thank special you. shout out to you. Um, for just even having the courage to stand up for yourself, B. Taylor. Thank you. And, um, Priscilla. Yes, ma'am. I bought that book. Me and all the girls bought the book. So, <laughs> The Shades of Men. We bought, all of us got the book. So, thank, thank you for that. And um, I'm working on my, the love language. The, no, what is it? The Five Components of Love? Yes. So, I'm working on getting that book as well. But thank you so much for all you do. And I love you. Absolutely love you. Thank you. Love you, too. Yeah, all right. Have a good night. Bye bye. You too. Bye. All right, all y'all. My my ebook is my free ebook is out. The art of finesse and how to protect your life. The easy way to say no. Okay. Um, you can get that free ebook by signing up for my email list. If you go into the description of uh, this video, you will see the link to sign up for the ebook. Go get your free copy so you can uh, know some more, right? Become even more educated, more powerful, right? Um, I got a call from the, the UK. Let me get the UK. Oh, we got, I, when I tell you I'm international, I got them all over the world, baby. I'm telling you. Hello? Hello, Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Oh, my God. No, no, no. I'm calling from the UK. This is Patricia. <laughs> it's a pleasure, Patricia. What you got for us tonight? Hello. So, um, love all your shows, Miss Um, Question for B. Taylor. B. Taylor, right? Is it, but I'm right. Yes. B. Taylor, yeah. Um, you look beautiful. Um, but I think you, you've been on Yanni's um, show before about mm -hmm. the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all, all the people was like giving you support, telling you, mm -hmm. girl, you deserve better, do better, mm -hmm. like we're here to support you. And here we are. <laughs> yeah. Like, so with so Mommy, like, um, we've had this discussion. And for one, it was like, we were addressing the Pearl situation. We was addressing um, some of the things that went on on the Peef Network. And yeah, mm -hmm. I did leave that. It was more so, but Yanni wasn't telling me to leave the space. She's like, if you're going to be in there, at least get paid. Okay. Like, let it get some type of benefit for you. So I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. So I, um, and there was some months that went by. I'm not technically back in that space. What happened is, as I'm cool with certain people, and I was coming on to support their show, so it hasn't been like what it was in the past. So I'm not going to sit here and just over-dramatize that and say, 
you know, but I, at the end of the day, regardless if I leave the space or not, once you're in that space and those people know of you, they will follow wherever you go. Okay. Oh, oh I, the, the phone uh, call, the, the, the call field. Okay. I don't know if she'll call well, I'll back. I'll, I'll, yeah. yeah, I'll finish it off. They'll go wherever you go. There is no, once they know who you are and what you got to say, they come to my page every day. I'm minding my business. I haven't been in a space. People will literally make videos about me. And I'm not even in that space anymore. So it's not a matter of, you know, oh, like once you're in there and they know who you are and you've caused up some type of ruckus or a name for yourself, that's it. Priscilla know that for a Unknown caller. She's not even in that space and people still talk about her. They tag her. They still mention her. And so what I said I'm not going to do is keep going consistently to these spaces, which I have not um, but I do have people that I rock with that I support now. Uh, no, I'm not on Anton's show all the time. That was a, I was asked, I'm cool with Q. I'm cool with logic and them. And it took a while for them to ask me. And I was like, all right, you know what? The other times I went on there, it didn't really do nothing for me. Like, you know, it's cool. It's cool to pop up every time and then cause a ruckus, cause entertainment or whatever. It's fun. Once it's not fun for me anymore, I don't do it. I create a boundary for myself. But it's it's like, I guess whatever went, not viral, but I guess the whole back and forth or whatever like that got them riled up back again. So here we are again. But yeah, mm -hmm. I've been mostly in my spaces and the people that I know and that I'm supporting and I'm cool with. Right. I mean, don't get me wrong. You do what you feel like it's best for you, like you're a grown woman. But um, this time, I think you're going to have to change your title, okay? Because, you know, I think, you know, I would say it's definitely going to go back. And it's okay. It's okay. You just that. I think when you talk to, like, other women that are, that are on the other side, and it's like, we think that, okay, we're going to support you. But then it's like, deep down, you know, that's not where your head is at, if that makes sense. So it's kind of not saying that's a waste of, like, their time, but it kind of is. Mm -hmm. It's a little addicting. So just, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. It is a little addicting. When you see, like, certain topics yeah. that's being talked about, and you're like, so, like, think about it. I was doing that for, like, months, like for months and then you have friends you want to go and support their channel and they come and support your channel and so it is a little addicting when they come up with a good topic and you're just like oh shoot you know what i, I you know i want to join in on a conversation so no i was definitely iffy about going in certain spaces and like i said there's no beef with nobody like i don't have no beef with nobody whatever that happened in the past got addressed and handled and that is what it is and I'm learning boundaries of, you know what? I ain't rocking with this. I ain't got to show up here every week, every every Wednesday I come to this person's show and just, or every Thursday I come to this person's show or every Monday I come to this person's show. Like I choose where I go. And I and if once I feel like the disrespect is there, I'm not going there no more. Like, so yeah, I'm learning my own boundaries. But the stuff is a little addicting because it pulls you back in and people talking about you and you pull up and, you know, so it's being a content yeah. okay. creator, it's just, you know, you got to learn your boundaries. Okay, understood. And lastly, um, no one wants to turn you or convert you to being a lesbian. Me, myself, <laughs> I'm not a lesbian. Don't even fancy women in yeah. that type of way. Yeah. Yeah, so, nah. But yeah, thank you, baby. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Uh, yes, ma'am. Huh? You want some cookies? Go on. They sent you some cookies. They finally sent you. I hid the ones that I bought for me. <laughs> I put the ones they bought for you <laughs> in your little cabinet. All right. Okay. Well, tonight has been a very... Uh, festive night. <laughs> okay, uh, I had a good time. Did you have a good time? I did. I did. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, oh. Uh, shit. God damn it. One person want me to call back. Uh, I 
Uh, <coughs> wait, can you call back Roxy? They, like I said, I had somebody from Portugal. I had a lot of people call. Just call back, right, Roxy, okay, okay, before I hang up so I can let everybody go and uh, – Put put Amaya to bed. I need to stretch my back, y'all. I need to stretch my back. This Dang. <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. these damn chairs? <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. For how many hours? T- Fatty. <laughs> Fatty. Fatty, how you feel, baby? <laughs> how you feel? Y'all going to go over there and cry a river? <laughs> All right? I, y- 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 y'all want B. Taylor back? Y'all want me to throw it back to you? <laughs> y'all want her back <laughs> alright look um, I want y'all to have a great night and there we there we go alright let's see oh shit hey P hey what's up hey thank you for calling me back um, you know I rock with you I've been rocking you with you for a while but I um, and I always enjoy the shows and everything and um, this has been a great show yeah B Taylor um, I just had a I just had a couple comments um, first of all my fellow Libran <laughs> um, I see you and I hear you and I feel you and what I want to say to you um, is Libra is you know we're ruled by Venus we have a sign of partnerships. We are in love with love. We want love. I have been where you are, and, you know, and so I, I, I understand it. And what I want to say is you will, you will find, you will come to be where you need to be when, it, when it's time. Um, Amen. And only you know that. Right. Um, it, it will come, and who knows when that will be, but I, I you know, speaking as a fellow weaver and, um, and I'm big into astrology. I know we're not just our sun sign, but I feel like you are truly a true, true Libra. And I, I know you desire that space, that partnership. Um, but it is a fairy tale. It is. Yeah. It's just, yeah. it's a fairy tale for me. It, I mean, I, I just want to tell you that and you're, and you're, you're just beautiful and you're, you're bright, but I, I can see that you're, you're still learning when I mean, you are, and I'm much older than you. Um, but I just want you to know I'm in your corner. I think you're going to get there and it's going to be at your own, in your own time. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. And the grace that you have. Well, you're welcome. And I, Cause I can see it. I know you're, you're, and as Librans, we also overthink, we overanalyze. And we <laughs> yes. Have, and we see, yes. And we see both sides of the situation all the time. Yes. And we, because we can see both sides, it's hard. It's just, it, it's really hard. But let me tell you, listening to P, because when I met, when I first found Quincella over a year ago, I was like, wow, this, she's, I mean, she's literally like saved my life. She really has. Like, and the way I think now, I mean, I was kind of hopeful that things would work out and not find the right partner. And he's got to be out there. And it's, it, and there, he's not, he's not coming. You know, no one's coming. So, I mean, they're not, it, it's, they're not coming. He's not coming. You've got to find your community among women. And I, and it's hard. And I, I told Princella this once, you've got to, you're going to get to that point where you're going to have to grieve this. You really are going to have to sit with it and it's going to come in its own time for you. The timing is going to be your timing. Nobody else's. But I think if you just, if you stay with this community um, and you listen to the women that are, you know, we, I, I think all of the women mean well, um, some are a little more direct than others, but as a Libra, I believe in diplomacy and being kind-hearted and giving people their space and their time to evolve. And you will get there, and it's going to be a journey for you. And only only you can um, walk that journey and figure out what's right for you. But I'm telling you, you're on when you're in peace. If you're in this community, you're on the right side. You are. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, so I appreciate welcome. that that support yeah well you're a beautiful soul and thank you p i appreciate both of you thank you so much i appreciate you. You. you okay all right all right bye-bye all right, bye. all right look look my god my god dang back hurt but that's four and a half i hours know i've been fucking. popping my Man, back look <laughs> oh my gosh look let me tell you <laughs> look 
Not oh. you trying to seduce the audience. Baby, but... no, I'm not. Baby, no, I'm not, girl. My damn back. I'm telling you, my lower <laughs> lumbar. We both wearing red and black. This was not coordinated. We both wearing red and black. Oh, it show. You know what? I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I did not even notice that. Actually, <laughs> actually, these these are really dark blue pants that I got on. But yeah, that's neither that's neither here nor there. Listen, I have enjoyed. I have enjoyed this show tonight. It's been fun. Um, I'm I'm enjoying the manosphere going to cry in the corner, uh, taking the L, taking another L that I didn't hand it out. And in they mind, in they mind, they 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 winning and and let them win, let them win. But I just want you to see this, baby. I want you to see the queen maker, the queen maker, baby. That's what it is. That this who you want to be. This who you want to be, baby. Anyway. Uh, it's been good, and I'm going to holler at y'all tomorrow. Peace.